Welcome back to the Unclick Podcast. Dennis Anderson is not here. That's why I'm doing the intro. He's busy having a child. Yes. Or caring for everyone. Bearing, bearing a child. So congrats to Dennis. Couldn't make it today. One on one mm-hmm. with Trey. We have Chris Tweet. How do you say your last name? <laughs> Gregson. Gregson? Greg- is that really? Complicated. Gregson. I thought, oh, what's his instant? Twistifer. Yeah, okay. So when Instagram names, you think they actually <laughs> have something to do with your last name. You don't know You're, if it's Tweetstifer or Twistifer or what it, or what it, what it is. The but. human gimbal. Yep. Yeah. So the human drone, actually. Human that's drone. A, that's, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Please tall. Uh, you are in Cal. Oh, let's do the uh, coffee plug. Yeah. I have a bag of ad. coffee for you. Yeah. Who would you have on the podcast? Mm. Who would you fly in? No budget. Uh,. Probably either Vic Ayala, Davey Watson, somebody that like is like gone. Gone, yeah. Like poof, like gone. Like what happened? Um, Vic Murphy would be sweet too. Vic will, Vic will make it a podcast. For um, sure. That's a po- that's like a possibility. But I want to see somebody like that nobody like even knows where they are yeah. or like somebody mine, obscure. Mine is, mine is Miron, of course. Yeah, but, I know uh, you love Jamie Ron so much. We were talking about him yesterday. Doesn't like me. With Corey. Doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he like feels... F- I mean, I don't I, no, he I, said, don't, I don't know Jay, and I don't want to speak for him, but it definitely said. seems like he feels a little indifferent about BMX and yeah, sometimes, so yeah. I would understand why he wouldn't want to just come and talk about the glory days. Yeah. No, he kills it at woodworking. That's, he does. That's, that's sick. But. One of those guys, good at everything. You know, like one of those... Or if I'm not good at it, I'm going to dedicate everything, all of my energy yeah. to make to make sure I'm good at it eventually. Yeah. So yeah. um yes, buy a bag of unclicked, seven dollars from every bag goes to a fund to get somebody out, a Vic Ayala. That'd, Vic be, Ayala. that'd, be, that'd be pretty magical. Yeah. So um welcome to California. Welcome here. To the, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Are you nervous? Uh, no. You shouldn't be. I've been, I've done like. Every podcast there is. I think I've done almost every BMX podcast at this point. Um, I like doing podcasts though because I enjoy listening to podcasts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I enjoy listening to like people's stories. So like I enjoy doing them, um, especially talking about BMX stuff because it's like I'm very passionate about BMX and like I believe that people in the industry should be passionate about it. So yeah. Yeah. if people are impassionate, I don't, I, is that a word? Inpa- impassionate? Unpassionate? Indifferent? Whatever. If, if somebody's not passionate about BMX, then they shouldn't be in the industry. You know what I mean? So I, uh, I like hearing people's stories. Yes. I always say that too. I was like, when you, when you find yourself jaded and not interested anymore, like you should consciously work your way yeah. towards exiting because if you don't actually yeah. care about it, then it's your work suffers. Yeah. So yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And that's, sure. uh, you know, uh, my joke is always I'm, I'm too dumb to quit. So, <laughs> but, you know, my, the dog is in. It's fine. It's fine. Like, I, I don't do dogs. Oh, I'm you just don't joking. like them? Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just joking. <laughs> so you are I'm in California. What are you in California for? Uh, I'm in California filming with Gregson, the filming uh, the human drone for uh, a Sabrosa like frame promo. Part. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, I met Chris a little while back, and I wanted to film a Sabrosa part for my new frame. And um, I had been to Phoenix filming with Chadwick earlier this year, and we did the Battle of the Brands in Phoenix. And mm-hmm. I was like, I was trying to figure out a like f- like a financially easy way to like go stay with somebody and film. And I was like, well, I don't, I can't go to Chadwick and film again in Phoenix. So I hit up Chris, and I was like, hey, like would you be down to do this? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. So it just kind of worked out. Cool. So, cool. Yeah, I thought I, I was thinking that you were getting some like clips for the Vans video that Chris was working on. Um, that was my thought. Like, well, I mean, maybe if we get something, but he, Chris was in Florida and we filmed a bunch of stuff when he was in Florida filming Tom, Shar and Trey Wood and some other skaters. Okay. And um, we filmed some stuff there and then we were like, well, we can just use that for the Vans mix that he's working on. Um, but um, yeah, it just kind of, so I have a few things for that. That's and cool. Then, um, That's awesome. Yeah. But we were actually, okay, yeah, talking about maybe try a premiere at Swamp Fest or something like that. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. No. What, what is, and you have another project with Chadwick. Yeah. Well. So I'm working on like a kind of like similar to Nathan's like pay per view part. Okay. Um, I'm doing one of those with Chadwick where it was kind of like, 
you know, filming a part is kind of hard when you depend on one brand. Because it's like, like if I went to Sabrosa and I was like, hey, I want to film a part. You know, it's up to them to like figure out the art direction, figure out how to pay a filmer, figure out how to pay for all the flights, pay for the hotels, pay for, you know, how are we going to release this thing? Yeah. Like all like all this. It's, 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 it's a lot asking one brand and to then, do a video part just for me. You know what I mean? Like it's different if we go on a trip and it's like me, Matt, Jerese, and everybody's getting clips. But if I, I ride, I ride different shit. So it's like harder for me to go on a street trip and like be like, hey, everybody, like we were talking about this in the car, like, hey, let's go to this pool. And everybody's like sitting on the deck, like, why are we here? And Trey's just like <laughs> in there cleaning it out and wanting to do a tabletop. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like it's in an I feel weird, like, you know, having to like, focus take on me. Up. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, but I had the idea, like I saw I saw Nathan did that part and I heard about him and and. uh Corey working on one and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of a cool concept. And I kind of hit up Nathan and I was like, hey, how did how did that go? Like, mm -hmm. how was the process? And like, what website did you guys use? And like, how did it go? And he was super open with me and like gave me a bunch of advice on like what to do, what not to do and stuff like that. And I hit up Chadwick and I'm like, hey, like, would you be interested in doing something like this? And he's like, yeah, let's go. Cool. Because he has like a steady gig, like doing some editing work. So he's like, yeah, I, I can, you know. I can do this on the side. Like we figure out like three or four trips and then I kind of hit up my sponsors and I was like, Hey, I have this idea, this concept I want to do. Like it would be like a pay-per-view part. You know, we could do like a premiere at Swamp Fest. We could do all these different things. Um, but we just need X amount of dollars. And every sponsor was like, yeah, sure. Like it's pretty much like, Hey, give me a check. I'll give you guys a video part and then everybody's stoked. Cool. So and they are supporting it, but it's like yeah. kind of a, yeah, like support it, but there's a kind of a no strings. Well, well yeah. Thing. Well, it's like, it's, it's it, like I said, like it's hard to ask a brand to do a whole part. Yeah. It's hard. It's yeah. just, especially with me being in Florida, it's like, I gotta, I have to, I have to go on trips. I gotta go to other places. I gotta do all these other things. Like where it's like, I can't just, I don't live, Chad lives in Phoenix. I live in Florida. Like I can't just go out on the weekend and be like, Hey Chad, let's go get a clip. Let me go get a clip. Yeah, like yeah. I need trips. Like I got to go places. So we did Phoenix. He came to Florida. Then we did Portland. And then we're going to do another trip where we just like drive from like Florida, like up the coast to like PA and stuff and ride jumps and come back. And then that's going to be it. How hard is it to juggle filming a part like that while prepping for, you know, premiering a video at, at Swamp, Swamp Fest? Fest, but then filming that video and then prepping um, for Swamp Fest has seems like. It's, I think it's more stressful f for Chadwick than it is for me okay. because I'm like, oh yeah, we just go film the part and we just do it. And he's like, oh, it's, it's a lot, man. Like, but like we have, we've been lucky to like get a bunch of footage. Cause like I said, I like to ride, I like to ride weird shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it, um, it's easier for me to go on a trip and like be like, okay, I want to ride like this weird Jersey beer, this pool, this curve wall ride and like go get something at all those things instead of like being on a trip with a bunch of guys and it's like, all right, we're at this ledge and then I have to ride around the building like a hundred times to try to find some weird transition. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's yeah. so it's like, it's more productive if I'm by myself and like, it's definitely, I'm definitely spoiled by it, but I'm just stoked that like my sponsor is like, they um they trusted me you know what i mean like i was like hey i have this idea well are you guys down and they were all like yeah we trust you like cool. you know go do it and like and now like every time we go on a trip i send them the timeline i'm like yo we got some more stuff got some more stuff so they they're stoked and um it'll be good because i think we'll have enough to do like a leftovers edit and like some other stuff as well so um i think it's gonna be good I'm, cool. I'm, I'm really i'm really really excited for it and I really feel like this is going to be like the future of BMX parts. Cause like I said, like it's hard to film a video part nowadays. Yeah. Like it's, you can't sell a video really. Like it's, I mean, you can, I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. Like it's just harder. It's, it's hard. It's yeah. harder to sell physical copies. And also it's like, I don't want to just put like a web at it out. Well, they sold, and like, they they sold like 40,000 copies of like wide awake, wide awake nightmare. That's not going to yeah. happen. Yeah. And it's, anymore, and it's like, and it's like, but know? I like, I'm like, I'm gonna be 29 this year. Like, I want to like, I want to give it all I got while, while, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be 35 and be like, I'm gonna try to film a video part. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want to like, well, do the most. Well, 29 and 35, you can do that. There's no way. There's, there's, there's <laughs> no possible way. There, there's, there's literally no possible way that I'm gonna be able to film a video part at 35 years old. <laughs> like, it's just, come on, let's be real. Literally, let's let's be real here. Didn't like, Nathan do that? Isn't Nathan like 35? Nathan. Or like, I'm Martinez? Trey, I'm Trey Jones. He's Nathan Williams. Let's, yeah. let's, let's be you real. A there's point. a difference there. You have there. a point. Like, like, I'm not, like, I'm not going to try to act like, I mean, I'm I like, think it would be cool. Like, obviously Nathan is like, 
you know, Nora Cup video video part of the year stuff like that. Not saying that you know you won't go for it in any sense, but like I I, I will not win Nora Cup. Okay. Let's be let's let's be honest. Well, so here. you're not gonna win that, but like. <laughs> That is voted you, on by You know writers. what I'm saying? Like, it was proof of concept, but it was proof yeah. of concept on like such a crazy bar, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it'd be cool if other pros yeah. can sh- is say like, wow, we like funded this project and put a couple bucks yeah. in our pocket yeah. and uh, via this. So yeah. That would be cool and that was this. like the thing is that it's like, I just wanted to film a video part. Like that's all I wanted to do, but it's hard to justify that. Like going to Chabik and just being like, hey, let's just film a part. And he's like, well, dude, I, I, I film for a little, I, I have to make money. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I understand, you know what I mean? Like that it, 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 it's, I don't live in San Diego and I can't just go out with him on the weekends. Yeah. Like yeah. I live in Florida. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like I can't go out and film a video part with big boy. Like, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Like it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. So like I, it takes a lot more for me to have to put in a part, not even just the writing part of it, but like the production side of it. You know what I mean? So like I said, like, I'm just stoked to like have this idea and then send out the emails and the sponsors are stoked. And then we go on the first trip and then we have footage. And then now it's like, damn, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually happening. Like to where now we're like, all right, we're gonna do the last trip and we're gonna be good. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, but it's cool because they were each like 10 day long trips. I mean, that's like 30 days of filming so far. You know what I mean? Like, and then, and then going on this, this Northeast trip will be like probably two weeks long. Like that's like, that's a good amount of time. Like, yeah. especially just you one-on-one with a filmer, like it's good. But yeah, I'm super how's the, thankful. How's the pressure of that? You know, like in the sense of like, um, oh, okay, well it's been two days. We haven't filmed a clip. Is that, does that kind of, uh, I don't know if that happens or not, but. If I say it hasn't happened, I sound like an asshole. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, well, not really. I haven't gone two days out getting a clip. Are you kidding me? No, no. But like, no, it's, but we, but, I mean, we just, I just, I, we go to stuff that I just want to ride. Yeah. I want to ride curve wall rides. I want to ride a pool. I want to ride a weird transition to where it's like, okay, we're here. Let's at least just like get an air on it. And it's something, you know what I mean? It's not like, I'm not rear riding a 20 stair handrail, but it's like, I got something and it's like, okay, we have it. We don't have to use it if we don't like it, but maybe something will come of it. You know what I mean? But, um, I don't think it's any pressure. Cause like, I really don't give a shit if somebody likes it or not. And you have, you know that, what I mean? Like, that, I don't really well, care. I'm saying if, like, like it, almost with Chadwick, just like sitting there holding the camera type thing. Like, but you have such I mean, a that's filming with, in general. Though, yeah. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's but when like, the focus, there's no other team there and it's like, all right, this is on me today. I have to, I said that I would yeah. want to do something in the spot. I get there doesn't work out this spot yeah but know. like me and chadwick like work so good together and mm-hmm. like i've known him for so long that like if we roll up and i'm like yeah there's nothing here he's like all right cool let's let's move on you know what i mean it's not like he's not like well are you gonna get something yeah. you know what i mean i'm mm-hmm. like like if he would if he were to like question me like that i'd be like no dude what like like you know what i mean like i'll be like you know how this shit works like yeah. my problem is that like i try something for a long time and i do it and i don't like the way it looks and and I'm like, oh, like I had, I had a different vision in my head. Like mm-hmm. I had a different vision of like what I wanted it to look like, not on Chadwick's part, but like on my part. Like I have like a certain like if I do a table in like a pocket, like I want it to look like good. Like mm-hmm. I don't want to just be like, oh, well, I did it. You know, what I mean, I don't, like it's you know, what I mean, I, I want the shit to look good where it's not more. of It's more or less like if you real ride a, a, a 20 star handrail, it looks the way it looks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're not like it. you're not like, oh, I'd rather like, you know, I want to like you know do something out of it you know what i mean like it's it's so like i feel like my writing is like i it's not really like the trick that's actually happening i just want to do it as well as i can do it you know what i mean so what about your style of writing over the years you know the uh you know what could go wrong days like mm-hmm. no handers into big double sets and stuff like that is that still a, yeah. a thing for you yeah i mean it's just stuff i don't put on instagram yeah you know what i mean but like I mean, I've jumped off some buildings, you know, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like I'm not like, I'm, I'm, not, like, I'm not like trying I'm, to say like, you, I, I mean, I, I, I know I, the, an, I know the answer. I'm, it's but for like, the other no, it's, people. It's just like, it's, I, I, um, like when, I mean, you know, like when you're on a trip, you turn it on, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you find the setup, like you're there, you ain't ever coming back. Like you got to do it. And like, I feel like for the shadow video, it was like, we went on a lot of trips and I got to check out a lot of crazy setups. That I would never go, even though like that no hander in the stairs was like, Stim his way from my house. You know what I mean? Like, but, um, it, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I just ride the way I ride. Like, I don't like, I like, I like, I mean, you know, like, I'm not really concerned if like somebody thinks that like my, like that, um, 
it's not keeping up with the times or whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't want to follow a trend. I don't want to like, I don't want to be a part of like anything anybody else is doing. Like, I want to just do like exactly what I'm doing and that's it. Like, yeah. That's... And I, and I, 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 I just want to like watch my part and be like, Oh, I liked that. I liked that. I liked that. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to do like the things that I would like to see, you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, I mean, there's kind of pressure, but like, I don't, I don't self-imposed. Yeah, but I don't like I just don't I just don't really like care if like if we show up at a spot and I don't get a trick. I'm like, oh cool, whatever. Like I'm not like, oh I gotta get a trick, you know what I mean? It's uh but I don't know. It's different well, for everybody, right? You know? Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it. That sounds I Did mean you? that's that's a nice surprise. We're gonna be do... a busy guy. Yeah, but it's like it's like one of those things where it's like I could sit around and wait for my spot. I mean COVID was pretty gnarly. Like yeah. there was nothing going on to where I was like, I dude, I'm 28. Like I can't just sit around and just not do anything. Like, like what, like I, I need to like make moves. I need to well, like uh, film shit. Like I need to. Yeah. I mean, that's good that you have that thought pattern, but obviously my first, my, my first thought is that you are doing stuff because you're, the, the YouTube thing is like prevalent in so many different mm -hmm. ways. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't follow it day in, day out, but there's yeah. a lot of videos that drop online. Right? But like, that's just big boy document what we do. Yeah. Like, it's not like, it's not like other channels where it's like, we have to get a video done today. Mm -hmm. Like, we have to do this game of bike. We have to get it done. So it has to be 10 minutes long so we can just get it out. It's mm -hmm. just like, we hang out. And if we're like, yo, we should build this concrete quarter today. All right, let's go get some bags. Yeah. And we build some shit. And Big, Boy, and Big Boy's there. And he films it. And if it goes on YouTube, it goes on YouTube. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's like, it, you know, it just works really well. Yeah. You know, like, it's... um. But it's, it's, it's the what? YouTube thing is, it's interesting, right? Like yeah. it's, it's just weird. It's, it's weird, but it's like, well, that, I mean, that's what I was going to say is like, I mean, I feel like there's a whole, I mean, like 30 minutes we could, or more, we could talk about that, but it, I feel like YouTube is its own like community and mm -hmm. weird, hundred percent weird sense where it's yes. like, there's people and they ride bikes, but maybe most of them don't ride bikes yeah. and, but then they get subscribed t to you. Yeah. In in particular, you know, where these yeah. people get like pretty attached. Yeah, I feel like that's a good way to put it. Yeah, is that is that some stuff that you guys have been going through? I would assume uh, Big Boy gets it quite more than you. Oh do, yeah, I, I I I I hate it. It's like it's terrible. Like it's it's uh, you know, when they want to be nice, it's awesome. Yeah, and it's cool, but when they don't want to be nice it's not fun See, like it and, 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 and i'll put it i'll put I'll, I'll put it in this way it's like so the youtube culture right it's like you know or i'll go back so if you like watch a tv show in the 90s like did jerry seinfeld like talk to you and be like hey viewer what's going on man what do you want to see yeah no you watch the show he's a star you're the audience there's no like he's not catering to what you want to watch you watch a show if you don't like it don't watch it mm -hmm. where nowadays it's like the youtube thing is like hey what do you guys want to see what do you want to do oh you want a black shirt we'll make a black shirt if you want a white shirt we'll make a white shirt you know what i mean like what like whatever you guys want and now like they've established like youtubers in general have like established this culture of like va like i'm gonna say this lightly mm -hmm. but like overvaluing the 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 viewer to where like they kind of control what he, they think that they're in power of what you're doing like hey we made you co-produced by like the you viewers. wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't have that car if it wasn't for me because uh, i bought your shirt and it's yeah. like this very bizarre culture of like you know when your dog dies people are like hey you owe us you owe us to, you know what's going on and it's like fuck off yeah. like yeah. i don't owe you shit like you know what i mean like you watch i tell big boys all the time because he gets like super like bummed out about it like oh i just want to like make all the viewers happy and i'm like they're watching your youtube channel like you know what i mean like yeah. they're watching your channel like they they're tuning into what you're doing like you know like you're not too you're not like subscribing to their youtube channel like you know what i mean yeah. and it's, yeah. it's, it's it's like it's like they they should they it's um like I said, like it's awesome that people watch YouTube, but when it goes south, it goes real south. And like, I'm just, I have just been witness to being around people that do YouTube. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, Big Boy just does YouTube and I'm around it and he documents what we do. Like, I'm not a, I'm not like, 
I'm not a YouTuber. You yeah. know what I mean? But like you get that crazy fan base. Like we were we were riding in LA yesterday and some guy drove by in a car. Hey, Trey. Like it was hanging out the window and I was like, that guy doesn't ride BMX. <laughs> like, like what like what like what like and everybody's like, why does that guy know you? And I'm like, I just don't don't even don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. Like it's you know what I mean? It's it's just it's a it's a it's a weird thing, dude. And it's not something that like I asked for. I was just around it. Like I feel, I feel like people get uh when they watch all of the all the videos, they get a sample of who you are and and what you're about, and they get a an idea that they understand you as yeah. a person. Yeah. And there's like this yeah. connection there, yeah. And it seems like it's kind of weird. I don't know. It's cool, I, but it's I feel like, like I, I said when it's pe- good, I get it's good. Of it, and that's why I'm like I'm like oh, people get you know like they. Like somebody will hit me up and be like, "Hey, I have this like thirty year old Kazam Shack poster. Do you want it?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's that's sick. Yeah, for sure." Mm-hmm. Like when I go to like a demo or something like that, people just bring me an insane amount of shit. That's Nickelodeon that's a great perk. Uh, bowling ball pins. Not for, not and, for your wife. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, no, I have it contained to a room like this, even though it's like kind of like coming in on me. Like it's like I feel like it's like it's almost like curling over. But like I said, like when it's awesome, it's awesome. Like it's like. When people are like, hey, like I have, I don't know, this old camera, do you yeah. want it? And I'm like, uh, sure, you know, or whatever it may be. But like I said, when it goes south, when yeah. people want to be aggressive, it gets crazy. Like, what's especially that, for that? me, because I've had like four different things happen to where it's like, it, it just, it's just like an overwhelming amount of like yeah. negativity to where it's like, damn, dude, like, just let me live. Jesus well, Christ. So let's, let's talk about the fact that we're not going to talk about that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Just so few people understand that we're not, <laughs> yeah. uh, that we're very purposely not talking about yeah. the recent news. It is family. It is friends. Yeah. It spills over onto the internet. Yes. It's not your business. And I appreciate in the that. End. So, yeah. Yes. So, um, and I feel like with the YouTube stuff, it's like, what's that saying between like love and hate? Like the closest relative to love is hate, you know? So yeah. it's like, as they love you and yeah. then all of a sudden they hate you. Yeah. And that's like a, how has... I mean, I feel like I've personally seen, like, obviously there's, like, the meme stuff, but I feel like I've seen, like, human beings, people's, like, personal accounts post stuff about you, Mm -hmm. your wife, your dog, your friend, in, like, a, like, fucking, I I would fight them type, type level, you know, and it's, like, how, how does that affect you or does it? Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. It makes me want to delete my Instagram, quit being pro bike rider, and go swing a hammer for a living. Yeah. Fuck, that's real. Like for yeah. real, like, yeah. like that shit sucks, man. Yeah, like it sucks. Like when you're like, when you pour your heart and soul into something, and like you know you're passionate about something, and like people shit on you for it, it sucks. Yeah, I don't give a shit who you are. You can look at all those positive comments all you want. That shit sucks. That one, that one negative one that cuts deep it rocks you. Well, sure. when you get forty negative ones, it cuts real deep. Yeah, fuck. It turns into a full laceration where you're bleeding out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't just sting. Like yeah. it's you're, you're it hurts. Like. And it's like, but at the same time, I have to think that like those people that are talking shit on me and Swamp Fest and stuff like that are the same ones that like post homophobic stuff about Corey Walsh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like all those hate pages on Instagram is like that. Like, fuck that shit. Yeah. Like those dudes are fucking lame. Yeah. Like that shit is not cool. You like know, it's just, I, it's, 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 it's really bad. I mean, I was talking with Corey about it yesterday where he's just like. He's like, dude, it's just like this sucks. There's like, it's, I haven't. Seen I don't want to go yeah, into yeah, the details yeah. of it, but it's like those same. But it's dudes. like a people. It's like a yeah. I think, it, yeah. and they're Florida people. They're people from Florida, right? Is there? Is there? No, is there, is there is I don't know if we're talking, talking about, about the same. I don't know if we are. Type yeah, of, that's why I was trying to connect that line. Yeah, but there was a, so somebody got a repost on the AppyMX page. Yeah, and uh, and I didn't post it personally, but at a point I had registered that person as like. Like, hey, uh, I don't think we're going to really fuck with that dude. Yeah. Because I saw on his page that he had posted a bunch of shit about you. Yeah. And it's like right or wrong. Yeah. Like if what he was saying, it was so personal and yeah. so outlandish that I was like, this isn't a person that I want to be associated yeah. with. Anybody that would go into that depth about hating somebody else exactly. is, is not a good human and being. And so yeah. I I told the we left the post up because I'm like, I'm not going to delete it at yeah. this point. But I like informed everybody else like, hey, this dude you know we're, yeah. we're not it's we're not, not cool. gonna back him you yeah. know like because that's not a person that i would like to see go somewhere right yeah. or i mean i don't know i don't know if i should say that but it's like because there's not many people on they're on that list and that yeah. was because their their full hate was yeah. like 
I can't, I can't get behind that person yeah. because that's not a person that I yeah. would want to associate myself with. And it's, yeah. it's crazy that YouTube produces that, um, that emotion, yeah. you know, where they're like, yeah. they feel that they the deserve a response. Well, that's what I'm saying about the cult, the culture, the culture and the viewership behind YouTube is that like these people think that like, they're like, we made you Yeah. without us, you'd be nothing. I was like, I was a pro bike rider way before, you know, I was on Big Boy or Scotty's channel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I was just, I was just, I was just around it. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't like, I wasn't like trying to be a part of this like YouTube culture. I well, was kinda, just, I was just, I was just there by association where I'm just like, all right, well, cool. Yeah, we'll film videos an, you're and you're ride an interesting shit. Like, person, so somebody who films stuff knows that if I film you, I'm a weirdo, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I yeah. Mean, yeah. And, and interesting. <laughs> Overactive, uh, you know, yeah, I know talented you. I know bike rider, oh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Thank you. So, I, I would say mediocre, but and, okay. you, and you have a very distinctive, uh, uh, yeah, type thing, right? Is that what? <laughs> what? That it? what are you talking about? What do you about? do? What do you do on YouTube? What do I do? What do, you, do? Anytime anybody does anything, you're, you're in the background making a sound. What, the, what are you talking about? I don't know. Fuck. Making a sound. It's like, it's like, yes, like whatever you say. Fuck, why am I blowing this? I have so no bad? idea what you're talking about. All right. I'm going to fucking splice in a montage of the sounds that you make. I mean, I, I'm gonna have to watch yeah, you. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that I do because I definitely say like a lot and I definitely, I, it's definitely like anytime I do a podcast, we're like, this guy, I can't see him watching him talk, blah, blah, blah. So I'm sure I do something annoying, but yeah, sorry. I usually, I don't like give a shit. I can't wait for all the comments about how, uh, how this sucks without Dennis. So, yeah. So go. Dennis, how's your new horror part coming along? <laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, it's not that great. I only got 18 minutes of footage. Oh, that sucks, yeah, man. I'm right? sorry. Yeah. Fuck, you see that wall to whip. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Wall, rather. Hey, you'll get there one day. Right? <laughs> Stick with it, kid. Yeah. <laughs> one day you'll make it. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Wow, oh. you got a lot written down there. Uh, it's not really It's not really that much. Wow. That oh, is a lot. <laughs> no, it's, it's not that much. It's a lot. Uh, has... I guess uh, let's talk about Swamp Fest. Okay. So Swamp Fest, October thirtieth. <laughs> yeah, October thirtieth. Halloween this theme. year. Why? So okay, actually, I got a. <sighs> it's a Swamp, long story. I, te- I I texted you. I said, "Is Swamp Fest at Big Boy's spot?" But it's not. And no, I know. I know that. No, 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 but no. what's the what's the deal with what's the deal with Big Boy's spot? Is it smaller? Uh, Big it Boy like, just. I mean, he just bought five acres, so we can do cool shit at it. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, after, you know, his whole split up with Scotty, it was like, hey, I got to do my own channel. And he was like, we need a place that we can blow a car up and we can build dirt jumps and we can build concrete stuff. You know what I mean? And like, and he was, uh, Florida is obviously the perfect place to do that. So yeah. he bought a piece of property. And um, that's just kind of where we film videos at. We all hang out. And it's just like a sick ass spot. It's five how, acres. How like, far is it from your guys' house? It's, or, well, houses. Yeah, I know you guys it's um, like 20 minutes from my house. Oh, so so like McDermott, McDermott lives in New Smyrna, which is like an hour from us. Mm-hmm. And um, his spot's right between my house or like between Orlando and the beach to where okay. like we can both meet in the middle and it's like easy for everybody. Also, Dave McDermott likes to hang out with Big Boy. How crazy is that? <laughs> Dave <Dick McDermott. laughs> I street, street, meet Kelsey. street dragon yeah, yeah kelsey kelsey will like kelsey will be like why is dave hanging out with big boy and i'm like they're boys she's like i don't uh, okay like i i it's that's crazy like it's <laughs> dave the most hardcore street guy ever hanging out with big boy yeah but he was also like a school teacher you yeah. know like, he's soft he's soft as baby yeah shit. exactly like he was a nice dude even when he was he's gonna hate this when he now he's this. yeah now he's florida man yeah He's so Florida. He's so Florida. I love it. <laughs> but um, no, but but West is Swamp he a school, te- is school teacher still or no? Uh, he just stopped being a school teacher. Okay. Oh, but um, COVID, but he was a school teacher for a while. Okay. But um, he actually st- our buddy started uh started like a dock building company and like asked Dave to join and he was kind of like over teaching at the moment so it's like kind of like one of those things where he's like well, I can go do this for a little bit so I got my college degree and go get a teaching job whenever and I'm just gonna go try this out so, but yeah, um. But going back to Swamp Fest, uh, yeah, we've, I've, yeah, not at Big Boy's property. So, every, every, everybody, everybody thought that it was like, oh, he, we're gonna do it there. I'm like, Swamp Fest needs had, needs to be on a minimum of 180 acres. 180 acres. Yeah. So that last spot that we did it at was close to 200 acres, and that was almost filled to the brim with people. Wow. Just the like, cars and that. parking and cars, all that stuff. parking, camping, ramps, all that stuff. So it's like you can't, like you you have to factor in. Um, 
you can't do it on a spot like Big Boys. Yeah, you need yeah. to be permitted. You need to have power. Like there's, it's a. Like, is it really is Big Boy spot no power? No power, no water, no nothing. Like, like totally we, there's a pond. What's the closest thing? Like to- um, no, it, it's close to everything. It's just like a vacant piece of property. Okay. Like it's so there's like five acres, but it's surrounded by woods. So it's like there's nobody around us. Um, but we just run stuff off generators, and then there's a pond in the back that we pump water out of for mm-hmm. for water and stuff like that. So living off the grid. But um, but no, with the with um, with the Swamp Fest thing, uh, started started as band in the backyard. Let's run through the full history. Did yeah. not not you we'll, know we'll, we'll skim it. We'll yeah, skim it. We'll skim it. So it started out as band in the backyard in like two thousand eleven. Yeah, eleven, something like that. Yeah. Um, and then my buddy Jeff Honeycutt bought some property, and he um, uh, would it be in the backyard like two thousand twelve? Jeff bought his new piece of property in 2016. And Band in the Backyard was for a band BMX. Yeah, it was just kind of like it was just kind of like a thing that we did with like a bunch of our friends yeah. where it was like an idea that Ricky had a long time ago of like, yeah, I want to do an event called Band in the Backyard, and, you know, it's ramps like that. And we were like, you know, our buddy Matt Shaw had like 5 acres and we were like, "Oh, cool. We'll we'll just do it here." And we just kind of made it happen and it worked out and everything was fine, but things were on fire. It was a mini it was a mini swamp fest. Yeah, it was the beginning. Yeah. It was the beginning and um then my buddy, it, we obviously, uh, after that whole thing was completely insane, like, you know, raging fire and was catching shit on fire. It's at somebody's Drums house. He's like, it. yeah, we're not doing this anymore. Like mm-hmm. that's, that, that, this is, this is too extreme. So then, um, like five years later or six years, I don't know. I'm, I'm so bad with, with five, years like that, six, 17, yeah. 18, somewhere around there. Um, my buddy Jeff bought, um, some land out in the middle of the swamp in Florida and he's like, Hey, we could do another band in the backyard. I'm like, all right. We started working on it and, you know, I had a falling out with like kind of the band guys or whatever. And it kind of, it turned into Swamp Fest. Um, And we did the first Swamp Fest at Jeff's house and it was sick. Um, all the proceeds went open, to Scotty Kramer. Open, open loop, the rail yeah. across the water. Rail, and that's where like all, everything like birthed there. Yeah. Like it was like, like what, like it was like, like you said, the rail across the water, like the open loop, the jumps, pallet ramps, like all the essentials of Swamp Fest, like started at that event. Like that was the one where it was like the next year we were like, OK, well, now we have to have an open loop. We got to have a mud rail. We got to have jumps like, we get, like, you know, like it's, like it's like you can't do an event with like all this stuff. And then the next year you're like downsizing. Yeah, like yeah. it doesn't it, it just doesn't flow as well. But um, so we did it there the first year. All the proceeds went to Scotty. We literally did it with like no money. Like it was, I worked on that shit for, dude, it had to be like seven or eight months of just building stuff, driving. Like I would like go find pallets, fill up a trailer and drive it out there, dump the pallets off, go find pallets, take it there. Like literally it was like, I think vans give us like 500 bucks. Literally just like behind storms, like literally just Yeah, literally full, full renegade, like just Fit, just trying to figure it out and it took forever and it was kind of one of those things where it was just like we were like yeah we're just gonna do a cool jam it'll be fun and um and uh it dude there was like a thousand people there yeah. i remember talking to you right before that and i was like dude, you should really come I'm doing this event like i promise you it'd be sick and you were like gary i'll go if gary goes and you guys both came mm-hmm. and it was we sick we did yeah it and was uh awesome. and van homan was that's there, the only small and- fest i've ever been to Really? Yeah, I haven't made. I've because every single fucking year. Oh, it's the, the stupid the, Toyota contest. Yeah, the Toyota or whatever Challenge monster, things, or whatever they are. Would, yeah. yeah, and it would like I'd be agree to filming all three of those yep. like every three year. months beforehand, and then yeah. the date the date would drop, and I'd be like, "Fuck." Yeah, they don't every get, time. They, so. they don't. They don't get too happy with me whenever it's uh, overlaps there. I don't. But, I mean, oh, is a really uh, is a really you know. Uh, it was a concern. I mean, Nick Bruce is like, I, fuck, do I go to Swamp Fest or do I go to <laughs> Triple Challenge? Well, I hope really it comes that one day. <laughs> that would be sick. I, I, I hope it comes to that point one day. But uh, yes, yeah, so we did that first year at That's Jeff's. That's actually a good video idea where if you like, you just take some, like, a park dude. Andy and Buckworth, like, Swamp Fest. Be there. He will actually. Andy, <laughs> Andy would do great. Oh, yeah, he honestly, would. yeah. But, that, but that's the he thing would is front that, like, flip it. he would be right fucking behind nasty just for, yeah. front flipping that. But that's the thing is that it's for everybody. It's like yeah. there's literally like there's I'm not like. People think that like it's like anti that. I'm like no, like yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want to come, f- come fucking shred, man. Let's yeah, do it. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't care. Like it's a, but it's. Uh, I think sometimes maybe the pe- sometimes the people are like a little much. They're just intimidating. You, yeah, people are yeah. just like they see like everything on fire and like shit blowing up, and they're like, there ain't no way yeah. I'm going to that. Yeah. 
Like it, like you there can, is no, you can like I remember like I hit up Chase and I was like, you gotta come. He's like, is there hotels near there? Yeah, and I was like, that's what, that's I was what, like, I was like, yeah, of course. And yeah. he's like, yeah, I still don't know if I'm coming. <laughs> that's literally what I was gonna say. If you're nervous about going to Swamp Fest, don't stay overnight. But because I know I knew that from the very beginning because you get the. You get the the fucking assholes with fireworks that are screaming until four in the morning, and then you get the other group that wakes up at five thirty and yeah. then starts screaming. So you get about an hour and a half of silence. Well, it, like I said, it's hundred and eighty acres. You can go find you can you can no, go as far as hell away from everybody. I slept in the damn woods by myself, and it was silent. It was great. Yeah. All right. So it's like you just go find a spot. Yeah. Go. It's it's up to you. If there's somebody's being an asshole, go. You got you got plenty of room to move, but um. But yeah, we did that first year at Swamp Fest, and I was like, well, damn, that was crazy. Cool. And that was it. And then Ronnie Bonner. And, and basically, same thing happened, though. It was like, Jeff was like, can't do it again. City was like, nope, no fucking way. Yeah, the city literally was just like, like, we did it at my buddy Jeff's house, and the city was like, afterwards, was like, what in the hell did you guys do? Like, you cannot do this. Like, no permits, no insurance, no, it was full renegade style yeah. like full on just like wild as hell and pretty much I was like all right well we can't do it there anymore so i just was like all right well that was a cool thing that we did one time and that was it you know and then like probably like a year later well maybe not a year later i don't know it was a, it was a while and then ronnie was like hey so you doing swamp fest again i was like no we ain't got nowhere to do it at he's like oh you got to rent a facility i'm like i don't have any money like <laughs> how do i do that and him and john paul rogers actually were just like Look, this is how it works. Like, you get sponsors. They give you money. You rent a facility. You, you know, you use that money to do the event. And then that's how it happens. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I just know how to build cool, sh- like, cool ramps and shit. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to, like, open a business account. Like, I don't know. I don't know how this shit works. Like, I'm just a BMX writer. Like, I don't know how any of it works. And they, like, really helped me, like, figure out, like how to like turn it into like a real event but like without taking away like the um like the authentic authenticity Authenticity, of it like you know what i mean like keeping it like feel yeah like like no new ramps i won't go to jail but everything will be great yeah yeah like shitty ass ramps shitty like you know like everything just as shitty as possible like and make sure it stays that way like and um we pulled it that next year, you know what I mean? And it was like, it was kind of cool because it was like, I feel like the first year was like, oh, that's cool. I did an event. And then I did it again. And they were like, oh shit, there was 2,000 people there. Like, and then that was when like the ball started rolling of like, okay, this is a real event now. Like, that like, and like the sponsors kind of started like realizing like, oh, there's value in this, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, you guys did a video and it has like, 20 million views on it or something insane yeah, like yeah. that or like you know what i mean like it's like it got to the point where it was like there was actual value behind it and um we did that the first legit year was at um central florida motorsports park and then we did it again at that same spot and then that spot went out of business oh and i was like well shit what am i gonna do like i thought about like trying to find just like some random redneck dude that has property or like i was like trying to figure out how to do it but i've learned now that like it's easier doing it at like a motocross park or like an off-road park because they have the insurance to do events and they're licensed to do events. So it's like I'm allowed to do it there. You know was what I mean? the the first one was with all the mud boggers and stuff like that with the monster? We trucks did two years yeah. like that. Okay, yeah, two years, and that was like a it was it, it, it's considered like it's a motorsports park, mm-hmm. so they had like mud hole, motocross track, stuff like that. Um, so that place got sold yeah. it went out of business and I was like well shit now I gotta find another place and I found this new place called Spider Motocross and it's sick same thing motocross track mud bogs there's like a bunch of woods and stuff that people can camp in and we started going we are we are we are building and we are going and going so that's the one that yeah. the, an event hasn't actually happened yeah. there so, so we got yeah, so you were building for how many months uh, well we do a one month build okay we build for one month before and I got I think we got two and a half weeks in and we were like, Oh yeah, I've heard this COVID stuff. Oh, that's funny. Ha ha. Whatever. Like they're like, it's funny. Cause like there's a concrete lip there and like we c- concreted like a, co- a Corona beer bottle into it. Cause we thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's like, shit got real, real. Like it got real very fast mm-hmm. to where like, you know, I have like Dave King and Cody, like they're from up North, like they're from PA and in Rhode Island and, 
uh, Cody's like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get home, dude. Like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, shit, I don't think we're gonna be able to do the event. Like, well, we have all this half built shit. What do we do? Mm-hmm. Like, and we're like, oh, well, well, we'll we'll push it back by a month. I think they'll be fine. And Just it wasn't worse. fine. Yeah. And then it was like, so I so I like told the owner of the motocross park. I was like, yo, dude, like, like we can't do this. Like, it, like obviously with COVID, like it's not going to happen. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like yeah, there, people, there's no, there's people, no handbook people on show up and then there'd be some sort of like CNN thing. Yeah. Like, like a like, super spreader, yeah, you know, or something yeah. like that where it's like, it, it, like, so like I, I felt so bad. Cause I was like, yo dude, like, I don't know what to tell you, but like, I don't know what to do. Like I've never done this before. Like I'm not, there's no handbook on like what to do in a pandemic when, yeah. with Swamp Fest. Yeah. Like, I'm, and I'm not a business expert. I'm just, like I said, I just know how to build jumps and shit. Like, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, uh, he was like, yeah, well, we'll figure it out, man. Like, just, just, let's just lay low. Maybe we'll try to do it in fall. And then obviously like that didn't happen. Yeah. And I was like, dude, what am I going to do, man? Like this shit's just sitting here. It's rotting away. And like, luckily we got like the entire big line of the jumps done. We got the roll in done, but like all the ramps, like you got to think about it. like, like when you build a pallet ramp, like you just throw a bunch of shit up again, up like, like lean a bunch of pallets up against it. And you just like randomly like stack some plywood on it and nail it together. Like you can't forklift that stuff around. You pick yeah. it up, it falls into a million pieces and it's like, all right, well now I've, now what do you do? Like, so we moved all the ramps that we could back behind the roll in, but dude, it's just, it's a huge pile of just garbage. It's just wet like, wood now just yeah. like rotted basically. Like dude, I spent like, I spent a lot of money. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to say a figure, but we use 500 sheets of plywood. Like, yeah. think about how much money that is. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, down the drain. Shit down the drain where I'm like, okay, so, so now what do we do? Like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't like, you know, I like, I take out money, my personal money to do this event. Yeah. Like, so that was a, that was a question because obviously I think the, the, you know, the revenue fest joke Right? Ha, isn't, ha, that, ha. isn't that yeah? Yeah, so, look at all the people that came to the event last year. Right. Cash in on that one, huh? <laughs> so the idea that I think it, you know that uh, you know what's the the uh, Trey does Swamp Fest buys new Toyota. Yeah, you know, like yeah, like thousand dollar Toyota. Woohoo! <laughs> Cashing in, baby. Rolling in it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know, I know. It's rolling I, in it, baby. It's fucking... <laughs> I, 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 I am a professional bike rider as well. Like, yeah. that's, this is not my only source of income. Like, I want people, to, you, yeah, yeah. You can... So, what? I mean, how how could you lay it out for somebody without actually saying the figures? Like, how, first how, off, how do you, it's how... none of anybody's fucking business what I do with any of my finances. Yeah. If you like it. I don't give a fuck. Or if you don't like it, then yeah. I don't really fucking care. And then the idea. Don't fucking come to my event then. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't like, I don't fucking care. But all I got to say is. I spent a lot of money on that event last year. Yeah. And nobody showed up. Yeah. So you do the math. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Like, and then, you know what and, I mean? Like, and, like, well, and like, 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 think about that. Like, it, we spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and i i'm literally sitting there looking at it like and it's in a pile of weeds underwater yeah I'm like oh how much is plywood right now oh hundred dollars a sheet Sick. how are we gonna do a swamp fest well we don't have any sponsorship money so guess we're gonna have to figure this one out yeah, yeah. like I, if, I have i have no idea how i'm gonna do the, this event but i'm just gonna have to figure it out like i, I it, it has it has to go on like it has it has to like stopping is not an option so do you are you saying you don't have sponsors for this swamp fest um Less. every sponsor from last year got rolled over to this year okay, okay. you know what i mean yeah. like so it's like i i i you know obviously we're gonna have like we're, we're trying to get more sponsorship money yeah. like for what we can do but like dude i don't i don't know what to do Fucking like I, sponsor or something like, like it's it's i it, it's it's hard man like I, i'm not gonna lie like like i said like it's nobody's fucking business what i do with my money well, like i and, and and i and i don't like and i'm i'm not gonna like expose my finances with no, anybody no, no. Yeah, but I it's like think... but it's like i i i spent a lot of money on that event and nobody came last year yeah. so you do the math yeah. you know what i mean well, i like, think the idea i think the idea that you're required to work for free or lose well, yeah, money obviously. and that's the only the only option is is ridiculous you know yeah. like the the idea that you can 
put you know months of work yeah. planning and prepping and fucking sweating your ass off literal like yeah. blood and sweat yeah. and 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 not benefit yeah come out the other end yeah with some money in your pocket is fucking insane well, all, well constru- event- all, all construction workers work for free. You know that, yeah. right? Eventually, That's what the people do. eventually, you won't do the event anymore. At yeah. a point, if you stop making, if you never make any money, you go, okay, well, now I need well, to make happens. some money because I have bills. Well, you know? Not, so not, and, and literally, not even that. It cost plywood is $100 a sheet. I know. <laughs> I bought 500 sheets of plywood to do the last Swamp Fest. I have no sponsorship money. How the fuck am I going to pull that off? I don't know. Like I, wanna, I, I, don't, I, I don't. I don't know. But I'm gonna. But I'm gonna go for it, and yeah. I'm gonna figure it out. And like because because BMX needs it. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like my goal with Swamp Fest is like I was talking to Chris about this in the car. Like I want to make a lifelong BMX rider. Yeah. I don't want them to buy a bike from me. I don't want them to buy a pair of grips for me. I don't want them to see my contest run on the internet. I want to make them a lifelong bike rider because I was at a Roots Jam. I saw Dave Mirafoof knew the wall and that changed my life. Yeah. And that wouldn't happen if it wasn't for somebody like Ronnie B that stepped up and did that shit. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, I want, that's why I do it. Like I want to, I want a kid to sit on the deck next to Garrett Reynolds and him to do a fakie and Garrett Reynolds be like, that's fucking sick. Yeah. We're the same. Yeah. There's no wristband. Starry eyes. Yeah. There's no. There's no. There's no stupid wristband. There's no like. Okay, you're 45 seconds it up. Here's your. Here's your 500 dollar check for killing yourself on that run. Like Mm -hmm. no, dude. Like there's like that shit's not BMX to me. Like I'm sorry. Like that's not like I'm. I'm not gonna like. I don't want to talk shit on be on on like on any type of competitive BMX because like people can do whatever they want, but like. The only way that I can fight back against like something like the Olympics is by doing my event that I think is like pushing BMX in the right direction. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, I'm not going to sit here and just like bitch about like something that I don't like without doing something about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. I would rather just like, I'm trying to make a lifelong BMX or that BMX rider that doesn't buy one bike. I want them to buy like bikes for the rest of their life and be like, damn, I went to a swamp fest and it like changed my life. And like, then buy, it, and then buy a bike for their kid. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? It's like, in like, I, like I said, like I'm passionate about this shit, man. Like, and that's why when people talk shit about me, like if that shit fucking hurts, dude, yeah, I get like it. I get it. that shit hurts. Cause yeah. like, like I'm not trying to be a bad guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I, and, and it's just, uh, it's, uh, Swamp Fest rules, man. And I love it. And it's like, like at the end of that weekend, like I'm like, damn dude, that was awesome. You know what I mean? And like, I hope people walk away with the same feelings. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, and that's, and that's all I want. You know what I mean? Like if it turns into something where like, money can be made cool like that's that's awesome but like it's not i did like three of these events for free man yeah yeah not not even for free like costing me money yeah the first event is it true is it true that you took an equity loan i'm not gonna expose my finances on the internet but i do spend my own money on this event all right you know what I mean? Like I, I, yeah, like oh, you blame you can blame like, Chadwick for that question. Like of course, yeah. But it's like I, um, I, uh, Swamp Fest cost X amount of dollars. Yeah. Sponsorship money is do does not cover that X amount of dollars. Who makes up for the chunk that doesn't that we that who makes up for the leftover that needs to be paid? Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like me, like you know what I mean? And it's like and it's like uh, like it's um like that shit's nobody's business. And like, if somebody, to, if somebody, to, yeah. if somebody is upset with me that I made money on Swamp Fest, they can go fuck themselves. Cause yeah. I don't give a shit. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like don't show up at my event. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I have like a list of people that like have like, v- like vocally talk shit on my event, like on the internet. And I swear to God, if they ever show up at my fucking event, I'm going to take their money. I'm going to tell them to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's like, it's like, it's like, you can't act like an asshole and not expect to be treated like an asshole. That's, I mean, I think that's the beautiful you thing act about like the an internet asshole. is people forget yeah. that people remember things, you yeah. know? It's like, it's like, it's like, like, it's like, dude, like when yeah. you, when you like, when you hit me where it hurts, like, I remember that shit, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I remember that shit. And like, and it's, you know, if somebody doesn't like me for that, then fuck them. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's, it's just one of those things that you have to just like move past. And it's just, I know it's like one of those things, right? Where you're like, you post something and like 50 people say how sick it is. And one person says like, huh, this fucking sucks. You're like, duh, duh, duh. And then you, you know only, what I mean? Like and then you only respond to the negative. Comment yeah. You're like, God, that guy. Wrong, but then like, you know, you have to like stop and be like, <sighs> like most people are stoked. 
don't lose your head about it. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Move past it. Yeah. You're all good. You know what I mean? Like, and I have to like tell myself that a lot of times because it's like dudes hit me hard with it. You know what I mean? And it's like, and about shit that like, that it really hurts. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's, but it's, but like, what am I going to do about it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're gonna curl on like, ball like, like, I, I, cry, I, I get up, I get upset and then I'm like, I'm just being a pussy. I can't fucking get over it. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like it's, so it's like, it's like I have, I talk myself in and out of it, but at the end of the day, I know that the people that really care, like, now I'm doing the right thing and I know I'm doing the right thing. And if I can make a lifelong BMX rider, that's doing way more than anybody that's talking shit on the internet is doing. So that's it's that's like, true. you know, I have to just, I just have to focus on that. And that's it. What is there any clues you can, uh, you know, things that are happening this year that people would be excited for hmm. besides you is, will be grinding upside down at one point. Is there a grind loop? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Did we talk about that on rooftop thing? Did I kind yeah. of know that? Yeah, right. because rooftop, you guys talked about the grind loop. Oh and, yeah, you posted <laughs> it. You posted it. That's why I posted it, like the I day before. This. Okay, and and because uh, like rooftop called me and like yeah. gave me all this advice on like what to do, what not to do, and stuff like that. And like I, my buddy Dan is like a uh, a fabricator, and um, <clears throat> I was like, yo, it'd be sick for me like a rail loop. And McDermott was like, yo, roller coaster loop though, and I'm like. Yeah, that should work. Like in theory. Yeah. In, in theory, if you think about it, if you're like on it and you just ride it out, it should put you where you need to go, right? Yeah. Because the problem with rooftops was that he went out of the ground, and when he went around, it dove him straight into the ground. The ground yeah. This one, it like it, it it's off. you hop in, you grind around it, and then you grind off the end yeah. flat. But we like want like. But the good thing about it is, I, I mean, can, is I can have this. Is, I can have this rail forever. I can it have it every Sabroza, event now. Is it a Sabrosa loop rail? So it is the same. Uh, it is the same connectors as the Sabrosa roller coaster rail. Oh, that's funny. So I'm gonna get like a few Sabrosa rails to connect into it, and then a few that connect out of it. So nice. like you can haul ass, hop in, like go 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 go, and then Fuck. rip. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. How? What's the radius or diameter? Oh, I don't know. It's it's pretty. It's pretty. It's small enough that it's like you're not you're not gonna get to twelve o'clock and fall out of it. Like it's when it's stood up. Right? I'm, I'm trying to get think. to one o'clock and fall. Out. I'm, I'm trying to think when you when you <laughs> when it's standing up. It's about ten feet tall. Yeah, I mean that's maybe it's maybe yeah. Not so I mean it's like eight to, eight to nine. Or yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. Where yeah. it's like it it makes sense. Like I look at it and I'm like, that's not freakishly tight. Yeah. But we do have a kids loop this year, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's like it's like five foot tall. It's pretty dope. And we're gonna we're gonna decorate it like like a kids ramp where it's like yeah it's for the kids but it's a loop. It's gonna be sick. What? <laughs> My kid's three. Do you think he's good? Uh, yeah, if, if Probably. He's, if, hey, if he signs a waiver, he's good. <laughs> That's all that matters. I don't get, I don't give a shit if you push him on a Strider. If you think he's got it, then go for it. There should be dads like with Striders oh, like do like woo. I like, would you know, like, hold, I mean I would hold him. Yeah, I would hold him. I would but, totally um, do that. But no, but we're gonna do. Uh, that's like. But that's that's the thing is that it's like. I don't know what exactly we're going to build like because wood is so expensive yeah. and I don't ha really have that much money to spend on the event. So like I'm trying to figure out like I want to go out there, take all the wood that I have and like figure out like, OK, like how much shit do we have? Yeah. Like how much shit is usable here? You know, what I mean, because the good thing is at least Swamp Fest is all made of garbage. So it's like as long as the little piece of wood is not like unrideable, like we can use it. But I'm you just use hoping it wisely, basically. Yeah, yeah, I just got to be careful about like, like, I don't think we're going to be able to do like an enormous, like full loop this year because that's a lot of wood. Like, yeah, that's like a the lot. Volcano thing was massive. Yeah, like that. Like, so I'm thinking that I have some ideas, like a, maybe a step up loop, step down loop, something like that. But we'll see. To I'll, 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 I'll just i'll just let you yeah. just let I'm it marinate. trying to think what that means i'm trying to yeah yeah but um but no all the actually this year like the sponsors get like branded obstacles and stuff like that so we're trying to work with like like it's kind of like up to them of like hey like what do you guys want to build let's figure it out we only have limited supplies so like maybe we can figure just working with everybody figuring yeah. out figuring out what to do but yeah man i'm, I'm gonna do it i'm gonna bust my ass to make it happen i got it, it just has to happen at this point like the the event just has to happen because it's like it's just such a limbo thing where it's just like it's been sitting there for so long to where it's like yeah, something's no, gotta happen. Sense. What uh I was trying to like I'm like, how much is sponsorship? But we should talk about that afterwards. Maybe our mm. our BMX spawn unclicked mm. unclicked uh swamp mm. <laughs> mm. Nora Cup. 
Hmm. No. So, how much money do you make? <laughs> how much money <laughs> do like, I make? Just, just like yeah. straight up. No, 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 no. Can't, no. can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> my wife makes more That's a- <laughs> i don't know why people like it's uh i mean i get weird about people, it everyone. but like get, but like I i've get, never once in my life ever like like questions some like 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 been judgmental of like how somebody like how somebody makes money you yeah. know what i mean like i don't really understand well, I, th- I don't I, under- people, I don't really like, understand the like I think people I would be surprised on how much I made at Ride in the sense of that it was probably yeah. lower than they thought. That was a complete joke, by the way. No, you do I not know. have to. But you, I'm, you, but I, I'm saying, was just, I was just saying, fucking around. You do not have to sen- go into detail I'm, about No, I'm it. saying in the sense that yeah. like, it, going from there, it's like at a point, I've always been that kind of that uh, early T1 yeah. where like consumerism yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then at a point uh, when I'm almost 40, it's like, yeah, I kind of want to be comfortable and have nice <laughs> things and be yeah. chill. And so, yeah. you know, when I have people come over to my house, like like Burns, for yeah. example, like Burns, I know how he is. I, we've had conversations. I love Burns. But like, I'm like, oh, I wonder, you know, like he, he talks about, uh, what's that fucking the where uh a neighborhood gets turned over gentrification gentrification and it's like my neighborhood's not good and it's like you know like there's an element of that here and i'm sensitive to that because i've like like now i grew up on on welfare in this city and it took me 35 years to be able to order um, buy a house you know so but like but then he comes to the house and everything's chill but like i like still get i have the thought i'm like god it's gonna be weird you know like what's he thinking you know like and it's a weird thing money it is yeah. fucking fragile thing yeah it's different to everybody so, and i think it's a lot of it is like just not somebody not liking somebody and it's a good way for them to like just like poke at somebody it, yeah do you have i mean do you see people in in person like because i i'm pretty no, sure there's nobody like a, would ever say anything to me in well person. like the, any of these guys like because the guy that i was thinking of i think is in florida or there's another guy in florida where no, it's like nobody would ever say anything yeah but you see him right you got to see him somewhere yeah uh let's talk about uh why florida is good Oh, it's the best. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I mean, what? I mean, okay. You tell me what you don't like about it, and then I'll it's tell you. It's fucking why hot. It. It's wet. Yeah. Uh, that, that, yeah. I love that. It's yep. flat. Flat. Flat isn't even a There's reason a, to not like somewhere. Well, oh, I don't like this place. It's flat. The only banks you have are on roofs. Yeah, I love. Yeah. I love that we have no spots. Yeah, it's great. has there ever like a skate trip to fl- to Florida like pretty rare? He, took a, he was our tour guide, so that's how. That's where I met Chris on a skate trip in Florida. I took him to a snake run in a wood in a wood in the woods and a fiberglass ramp in somebody's backyard. Yeah. So it was pretty kid ki- like in a met in a metal transition boat and a bunch of other cool shit. But no, I. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have a metal boat that you can ride here. Nah, probably. Uh, Never mind. Probably. Right, scratch that. You probably do. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Okay. Never mind. Um, no, man. I. I. It's home. You yeah, know what I mean? No, of course. Of it's course. home. Yeah. Like it, it's it, it's great, and it's like, like my my family's like six generations Floridian. Like you know what I mean? Like it's it's like my 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 whole family has grown up in the state of Florida, and it's like it's in my blood, and I I just love it. You know what I mean? Like it's nothing. There's there's nothing like it, and it's like I feel like it didn't take it it um. I didn't realize until I got like a little bit older of like, damn, like, I could have grown up anywhere. Like I could have grown up in like Nebraska or like, you know, yeah. so somewhere yeah. like in the middle of nowhere that's like, it gets cold, like it snows in the wintertime. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, you guys, you guys got it even better than, than I do, but, but I'm just saying like, I'm, I just realized how, um, like Florida's like its own, like enigma. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like its yeah. own like thing. It has its own thing. It has alligators. It's a swamp. You know what I mean? And it's like taking me to like get to be like in my mid twenties to be like, I'm proud of this shit. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like and love it. Like, you know, like and and I also anything that I ever rode growing up was something that was built by a BMX rider. And I fucking love that. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Yeah. Like that, like I take pride in that. Like I would not be where I am today without Chattier building two skate parks. I, I, don't, you know what I, mean? I don't have to grow on my list, but yeah. how much uh, like could heavy the, influence? Uh, yeah, could the Orlando scene be what it is today without no. Degroot? Because no. I feel like he's well, been the glue and, 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 for 15. Chad, Chad, yes, definitely major influence. Ronnie, even more than that, though. Yeah, you think so? like Chad's the reason Ronnie came, like or Chad or Ronnie is the reason Chad even came to Florida oh, to begin okay. with. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like Ronnie is like. He's honestly like the, the like the pillar, mm-hmm. like holding Florida up. You know what I mean? And it's like, um, 
like I grew up riding Mission and Mesh, built by a built by a bike rider. I re- grew up riding Castleberry, built by my friends. Like we ride Big Boy's backyard. I ride my backyard. We ride Big Boy's jumps. Like you know what I mean? Like like I don't like it's diff. You take more pride in riding shit that you've built yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even if it's not as good. You know what I mean? Like even if it's not even if, even if it's not uh, it's not perfect and it's not like the greatest thing ever. Like I take more pride in being like I built this with my two hands. Like. And guess what? If you don't like it, you fix it then. Yeah. <laughs> like fix it. You know what I mean? Like you, you have the power, like you got the tools, like, you know what I mean? Go do it. You know what I mean? And like, that's like, I think I've learned that from my dad of being like a hardworking dude of like, you know, if you don't like some shit, go change it then. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And like, that's even rolls over to like the BMX shit where it's like, yeah, I don't like the Olympics. You're, definitely, that you're definitely a doer. Like, but I take it in my own hands by doing an event that I think is right. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and 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 that and that's how I, I could post all these stupid statuses on Instagram and like you know say how much I hate shit or whatever. But like, I would rather just speak um, through my actions of being like, this is what I'm gonna do um, to change BMX for the better. You know what I mean? Or do or or just or represent it in the right way or or whatever yeah. that may be. Even though. Somebody might not think it's, th- and they might not agree or whatever, you know, and that's, and that's fine. But like, that's, this is just my opinion on BMX, you know? I want to talk about the Olympics, but before, before we, before we move on from Florida, uh, why did Riccani move to Florida and why did he move out? You got to get him on the podcast, fine. I know. He, well, ask some other fucker he if will, I can respond. He, <laughs> he literally was like, all right, I could do it tomorrow. And Sean, I'm like, dude, it's Sean Saturday Riccani, and I Sean Riccani will tomorrow. never, Sean Riccani will never step foot in this room. I promise you that. What? No, that definitely will never happen. Even good Dennis luck with that. asks? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You got ca- to catch him on a good day. I'm going to send him this clip. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. He'll, he already hates I me, sent, so I sent Nigel the clip after the Matt Ray one, and he was like, soon. So. <laughs> but he, uh, no, Sean, uh, get out of Sean about that one. Ah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I think I saw something where he I'm was not gonna, like, I'm not going to, you were on your story or something where you guys were like making something and you're like, oh, thanks for the help, Sean. And it was nothing. It was like an empty spot. <laughs> no, we are pour, we are pouring, <laughs> we are pouring three trucks of concrete at Big Boy's house while he was sitting at his house, at, at, or at Big Boy's property while Sean was sitting in his house. And I said, uh, don't worry, Sean, we'll have this wrapped up for you. No problem. You can get your Instagram clip soon. I'll let you know when it's dry. Gotta but it's it. like. If you don't like it, no, come help real. me. You know that's what I mean? Real. So it's like, yeah. but I'm not, I'm not like Sean's yeah. one of my best friends. I'm yeah. not going to, I'm not going to sit here. And no, that's why Sean. you could, that's why but you could say it. You he's know, like, he's like a, he's like a brother to me. So like I can be extremely real with Sean yeah. and it's like, he might but, not like it, but I'm, bought, but I'm going to be bought real. a house. Right. Mm-hmm. And then did he sell it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Well, good time to sell it. Probably. He probably made some money real quick. Yeah, he definitely did. But yeah, you got to get it. You got to get in here and talk about it. But, uh, but yeah, um, Florida rules though. Love it. I love it. Like I, even out here, I was like, my brakes are squealing. This sucks. It's gonna happen at home. I got all the moisture. They don't squeal. I've been like bitching about it the whole time, like riding pools and just like, eh, eh, eh. And I'm like, what is going on? Why are they squealing like this? Like, <laughs> like my bike doesn't even like function in dry weather. Bikes from Florida too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, technically it's, it is. Yeah, it's it's great, man. And like, and it, it's. Uh, it kind of goes back to like the Roots Jam thing where it was like this, the reason that everybody went to Florida, you know what I mean? And for a long time, like people didn't really have a reason. Like after Baco at Mesh, like people didn't have a reason to go to Orlando anymore. Yeah. And like, it makes me stoked that like, like Swamp Fest is a reason for people to fly to like central Florida and like experience like real Florida, yeah. like real, real, real shit. Not like, you know, like touristy bullshit or whatever, even though I love that shit too. But like, um, like it is a, yeah, it's real. Like it's it's it's. I just try to create the event that I always wanted to go to. Yeah, you know what I mean. What what don't you like about the Olympics? Oh, I don't want to go to that. You just you said it. You said I don't like. Yeah, the Olympics. I know. I know. I, I mean, know, I don't I really know, care. So here, here's my status. I'll let you. I'll make it feel a little bit better. That. I don't really care about the Olympics. I got a bunch of fucking shit on Instagram for that little poll <laughs> I that I did. I uh, got destroyed by Olympians in the DMs. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just not that interesting to me because it feels like just another event and it feels like a watered-down version of it. No, because, dude. Because BMX it's going to explode. BMX because is going to blow up, well, man. Well, it's not the nine best dudes. It's not like We're it's... We're going to start selling bikes because of this. It's going to explode. We probably will. We probably will. Probably just, as, mm. just as people fall in love with it then, like it does. It, it has its benefit, but my over, overarching opinion is that the Olympics needs BMX and skateboarding to stay relevant 
far more than BMX and skateboard. Well, yeah, no the shit. Olympics. So Who's, I'm like, oh, whatever. I don't, I don't like. Okay, maybe care. I'm weird, but I don't watch the Olympics. Like yeah. maybe, maybe I'm, I watch shuffleboard or whatever. Maybe I'm curling. crazy. Maybe I'm crazy, but I, I don't watch the Olympics. Yeah. Like I got into BMX because it was the opposite of mainstream. Not main. I don't want to say mainstream. That's that's completely wrong. That's 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 that's, saying, that's, that's, a, that's, a, yeah. that's a wrong term. Competitive sport. That's a completely wrong term. Um, BMX is more to me than a gold medal. Mm-hmm. If if you know if those dudes and women can like make their careers better, that's great for them. But like, I think that's all it is. Like, mm-hmm. I, I I firmly believe that like we have more power in the industry than we have through the Olympics. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I see the amount of money that's in it, you know, and getting thrown at it. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I know how much it costs to do an event. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I know how far that money goes. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm not in, and like I said, time, and then this time, is and just then my times it by ten because of unions and whatever and yeah. committees and all the people behind. This is teams. just my shitty opinion and opinion on the shitty opinion on it. Shitty statement. And about shitty um, opinion. like if somebody wants to do the Olympics, that's fine. Go do that. But that ain't my BMX. Yeah, yeah. That's not BMX to me. Like yeah. you know what I mean? And that and that's cool. Like you can do whatever you want. But like, like I don't know. I'm not an athlete. I don't ride BMX because of like. I'm trying to accomplish a goal. Like, mm-hmm. like I don't want the approval of normal people. I want to be the opposite of that. Like, I don't like, I want to be like different than everybody else. Like I like, and maybe that's just me. Like, maybe that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I try to tread lightly with it because it's like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't want, I don't want anybody to like get mad at me. Like being like, cause I don't want to say like it's right or wrong. It's just not m- my BMX. Like, yeah. like, uh, like I've heard, I've heard Brian Foster say it. He's like, when he says, "Yeah, I used to be a professional dirt jumper," and then like somebody's like, "Oh yeah, I saw in the X Games." He's like, "Oh yeah, I don't, I don't do that." Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. It, it's it's not that. Like I, I I can't explain it to you, but like, you know, like, you know, Marin Rantis or whatever, f- flying through the air doing a hundred spins or whatever. Like yeah, I I don't I don't do that. Yeah. Like and it's yeah. like no 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 you do like this this is BMX. I see it. It's on the Olympics. Yeah. This is BMX. It's like no. Uh, that may be for a few people but that's not yeah. that's not the core of it like that's not and not even the core but just like the general consensus yeah. you know yeah. what i mean like i'm well, not even a, i mean it's even more it's even more weird on the park side because it's like the 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 park event is a is a wooden course and luckily we have one we have a you know a yeah, but one how, we have claremont here but you, like yeah. there's no claim the wood park is essentially yeah. dead in the in the entire country there's four or yeah. something and, and it's, it's like, like that know. and then meanwhile there's a skate there's a skate bowl that represents everything else that's in the country and that skateboarding but and skate this, has whatever. the power to say we need this this and we this did, we and, did too and, and, but and, we just lost out whoever you well know, don't worry like, the uci does bmx now and it's like you guys never gave a shit about bmx to begin with like i got since, him started s- since when <laughs> damn it i'm sorry like, I'm not, uh, it just it just it, it like no like i, I said it. man like I i'm it. like i'm passionate about this shit like i love it like and like when i see shit going like in a different direction, like or not, not even that sounds so wrong. Like, no, I, like you know I, what I mean? Like, it yeah. just it just bothers me. Like, yeah. I, I I see somebody working on Instagram being like, you know, like I saw some pro rider saying that like they like have nothing else to ride for because they didn't have they didn't they didn't make it to the Olympics. And I'm like, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Like, and you make a living off BMX. Like, get the fuck out of here, yeah. then, dude. You know what well, I mean? Yeah. Like, like it's like you can do whatever you want. Like, you do whatever you want. But like, I personally think that if you were make make a living off BMX, you should be passionate about it and and do it no matter what. That was if that you was make pretty a crushing, check, though, because it was like that. He because he he fucking tore his ACL yeah. and and then and then he's stuck in a hotel room because he had a quarantine yeah. for two weeks and he yeah. fucking didn't make the Olympics. Yeah, he is. He was crying. I think yeah, he deleted, yeah, no, no. I hope he and deleted and, and, and all that, that shit and that, that was and like, that, and that sucks. Oh, and I'm not saying I'm not and, and I'm not. I don't know. It's yeah. I understand both yeah. sides of it. I understand both sides of it. And like I'm not saying that anybody needs to be a certain way. And I'm not saying that he's wrong for feeling that way or whatever. Just like when I see something like that, I'm just like, Ugh, like, yeah. I don't. I just don't. I don't like get. I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I like. I don't. It's such a like. I see the Vic Murphy photo, and I'm like, that's it. That is it. That's yeah. it. Like yeah. mobbing down the street with your friends. Like you're not worried about a camera. You're not worried about like you're like this is the feeling that I chased my entire life. And like I feel like 
there needs to be more of that in BMX. And like, if the Olympics would get behind that, I think that would be great because that's what a kid can relate to. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's, yeah. and it's, a, uh, and then it's like, you know, you get the whole like eyes on BMX argument where it's like, yeah. Okay. Well, if we're arguing about eyes on BMX, like, you know, like what about these certain videos on YouTube that get 500 million views of BMX stuff? Like, is that more valuable or like, is it like the, I, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Like I'm yeah. just, I'm talking to my ass, but I just like, there's no, just no, a whole no. bunch of things. It, that the, you're like, you're not know. wrong. It's just like, you know, if, it's you, just my if, you, if you ever go to a, I'm sure you've been to a city meeting. It's like those type of people or only understand yeah. stuff of that yeah. level and that caliber yeah. and stuff like that. But in the end, yes, it's a, a, a watered down, yeah. uh, you know, trim the edges off yeah. of BMX yeah. representation that doesn't represent anybody yeah. I know. Literally, like, like, if the, if like the Olympic, I love yeah. all, all respect in the world, but like that style riding, nobody in this entire city of millions of people rides like that i mean michael laren doesn't ride like that like yeah. kevin doesn't ride like that dennis doesn't ride like that yeah. you know like there's yeah. nobody that rides like that yeah and it's and there you know there's no parks like that well there is yeah. actually there is 20 minutes away but you can't it's at the olympic facility and you can't yeah. nobody can ride it so oh, it's like that's that's dope hey chris we should go here after this that'd be dope <laughs> yeah right you know like it's, we hop the it's, fence it's, we barge it you could yeah fuck you guys we're riding it <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Breaking in the Olympics. <laughs> no, it's it, like I said, man. Like I know, I'm not. I, I'm just. I. It's just. I can't help but be bothered by it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. and it's like, I. I understand it. I get it. You know, people can do whatever they want, but like, I don't know. Yeah. Like when I see it, I'm just like, I, I don't. I mean, I think it's the same. Like, I don't. I just don't like it. Doesn't. That the X Games had. 15 20 years ago you know and then it's like it's an established thing now and it's like the x games was corporate you know takeover and mainstream and you know this it was all dave mira and that's all all the flack but we look at it back now and it's like so normal and yeah you know but i mean it's fucking fuck who knows hey in the end in the end bmx will be okay it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't (laughs) i don't know what that's some, some florida talk Florida talk but yeah i don't know is whatever what about people are gonna hate me for this i'm Why? sorry just expressing my opinion too no, much but a, well i mean maybe somebody will <laughs> always love maybe somebody Dude, I can't will do love anything you. without people just hate me now no, it sucks come on um mid-school writing <sighs> what by, about it by in modern day writing mid-school writing like i know most of the videos you watch are kind of the old props of forward mm-hmm. and uh you know kind of that era yeah. what uh what's so appealing about that versus it's what i grew up on yeah it's what i love it's Mom's like what spaghetti. like it's uh i don't know it's just it rules like i love like watching old part and being like oh this part in the song where he land you know what i mean like i just i don't know i like it's just uh I feel like a lot of like videos are just very like watered down now too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you got like the basic cleared song, like the perfect filming, and it's just like yeah, that's that's cool, but like that doesn't get me psyched. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and that's cool for kids. You know what I mean? Like that's uh, that's what they like. But like, I just get stoked like like watching All Time Low or you know or something like that or Kelly Baker throwing the 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 rock at the propane tank and the fire and it fl- and it explodes mm-hmm. like that's sick or like the maniac doing like big ass one handed x up or like a laid out suit like suicide like you know what i mean like that i don't know i i just lo- i just i just love that shit like and it's uh and it just gets me stoked and like the whole collecting thing is like a whole other i don't even know what to Beast. say yeah it's yeah. a whole other thing where i uh I don't know. I just love it. I love BMX and like that. And that's, that's the type of BMX that I personally love. And like, I just try to like, if I can like post some clips and like, we have this young kid named Marcel that rides with us. He's like 17 and he, uh, he doesn't know anything about BMX, you know what I mean? And I'm like, Hey, watch this video. You know, like I, I showed him, uh, like all time low. Mm-hmm. And he's like, damn, the guy all is sick. And I'm like, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm like, yeah. like that, like if, if like, if I can post a clip on Instagram of like, of the maniac you know and like people the kids are like oh i never heard this guy he's pretty cool like that's that's sick like i think that's rad you know like josh trigger was one of my favorite writers growing up and like if i got to see like what josh was like psyched on on a daily basis i'd have been psyched Mm -hmm. man that'd have been sick like seeing like all the videos that josh trigger liked when he was a kid like that would have been awesome so i just try to like do i try to uh i try to 
be the pro that like I would have loved to seen growing up. You know what I mean? Like I like like posting things that I'm into and music I'm into and monster trucks and stupid that's ass it. shit that yeah. I'm into. You know what I mean? Like it, I'm I'm BMX is like a major part of my life, but like that's just that's not all my life is. You know what I mean? Like I like building shit and I, I want to like show everything about my life to kids that follow me. Oh, yeah, I, I hate using cool. the word fans because that's weird. No, I don't know. That's that, yeah, that, that's 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 a weird term. That's a YouTube like, term. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not into that. What uh? Let's talk about the room. Obviously, you said it is the room. Your, the room. The well, it's, now it's the room is spilled over into the ramp, right? The ramp. Yeah, shed. I have a whole. I built a whole like studio in the back of my house. The f- oh, and the, ram- it's, it's, the ramps it's, are dead. It's the over. It's the right? overflow room. Oh, yeah, well, well if, if plywood's a hundred dollars a sheet, it's, it's going to stay dead for a lot longer. Weren't you going to do cement? Or so I, I want I my idea was is that I wanted to cement over it like Burnquest ramp, like how Bob like like concreted over his vert ramp. I was like, damn, that would be that sick was, to do that's that. That's what he did. Yeah, he has a con- yeah everything. Yeah, like if you look at a- the side of his vert ramp, it's like eight inches of concrete around the whole thing. And there's still coping. Wouldn't that just make the, the so the, you put the you put these things called smaller? yeah it does make the yeah what's that taller tighter and taller taller, yeah yeah so um i was gonna do that to my ramp i was like damn i could probably do this because like the weight the if you put these like you know have you ever seen like those long cardboard sauna tubes Mm -hmm. like that you fill with concrete Mm -hmm. so like you can drill you can put a hole in the tranny there's a guy that did on instagram that i've been following him that's it's pretty cool like you just tie the rebar all up the all up all the quarters and um, then you put the tubes in it, so like when the weight of the crete like sits on the, like you put they put them down into the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do that. And it just got to the point where my ramp was like so thrashed that I was like, oh, I need to get rid of this thing, dude. Like I need to, I need Does to it just clear tear. Out all no, 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 no. Okay. It's just sitting there. But I got it's it's so hot back home right now that I'm like I'm not going out in my backyard and ripping plywood out. You know what I mean? But I think I'm gonna tear it apart and like take all the two buys and everything out to big boys and so we can use it out there to build mm-hmm. cooler shit. I would love to like eventually build like a pool that I can like ride and drain. You know what I mean? That would be cool. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's just a lot. You know what I mean? And in Florida, like the water table's so high that sometimes if you like. Imagine taking like that empty cup and you put it into a bathtub and you sink it down and you let go of it. It's going to pop up. Mm-hmm. Right. Same thing in Florida with like the water table. Like if the water table is too high, pool like a pool, up. like if you if the pool is filled with water, it'll stay in the ground. But sometimes if you drain it, it'll pop out of the ground. <laughs> we did that to a pool one time. We drained it went back the next day and it was four feet out of the ground like this high. Out of the ground. <laughs> I have never heard of, never that, heard of that in my entire yeah. life. Yeah, that happens in Florida because the water table's so high in Florida. Like, if you dig a hole like four foot down, you're gonna hit water. Like, it, that's just the way. Like, because Florida's so wet. I love your face. Is like I'm, you I'm were actually like actually baffled. Uh, yeah. yeah, it uh, it happens a bunch in Florida. Uh, the other the only because we were gonna drain Big Boy's pool at his house, and like his pool guy came and looked at, it and he's like, Ugh, I don't know if I do that. It's got a crack in it, and then if it pops, if it pops, it's like. Done. roasted yeah like nothing you can't you can't like pinzone was going to build a bowl in his backyard and he was gonna have to build it up eight foot out of the ground because of the water table oh wow and that's why he built the, the ramp, ramp instead but um but yeah i would i would love to build a pool that i can like ride and drain but i have to like look into that more and it's yeah. a lot like i think that i could do it myself i'd probably have to get it like plumbed like in like for actual pool and permitted by a pool company but like and just make it. I could dig the hole. I, I, at this point, I feel like I could dig the hole and tie the rebar and, and pour it myself and be fine. <laughs> just go full fucking crazy person and yeah. just dig a hole. <laughs> yeah, it'd be sick though. <laughs> it but would. but that but that's my goal. Is I would love. Isn't to that have, what Clint, like, Clint did that? I mean, his is a pool a, though. Like you have to have it plumbed yeah. where it's like water can come in and out of yeah, it. You know, yeah. digging a hole in the ground and up there, it's like they have dirt that, that can actually be held yeah. together. We have sand; it doesn't really work that way. Good point. But um, I would I would love to eventually have a pool in the backyard with like concrete stuff around it. But it's just like it's a big on taking, you yeah. know. Like, but but the ramp's just sitting there for right now. It's like moat. A lot of it's pretty thrashed. Some of it's still rideable, but it's pretty it's yeah. pretty rough. It's done. And it's like okay, I fix it. I you know I get, I pay. Twenty thousand dollars to refix it all, and in two years it's rotten again. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, unless I would like skate light or something like that. But that's um, and that's even more money. But yeah. and also, Big Boy lives like two streets away from me, and he has his ramp. So it's kind of like I would just rather go there and ride that than like have to deal with my ramp right now. But down the road, eventually. Cool. Um, segue into the into the collecting into the room. What is the most sentimental, the most obscure, and the most valuable? 
Okay. Three questions. Um, in one. Most sentimental would probably be either my dad's first BMX frame, mm. or um, I have a tape from the 1996 DK Dirt Circuit that I got. I went to the 96 Dirt Circuit when I was four. It was the first earth. first thing I ever saw. Corey Stasio, Orange Bully Hot Rod, backflip for the win. That's like my whole life mm-hmm. changed. Uh, but then in the 97 DK clinic, when like Neil and Robbie came, uh, they gave us the tape from last year, like the recording of it. So I have the first ever BMX tape that I've ever gotten since I was like five years old. So those two are pretty important to me. Yeah. What was the other one? Obscure. obscure. I have Jason Enns's, Jason Enns's shit list. That's pretty obscure. <laughs> or have one of Dave Mira's old Slim Jim stickers. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Like, that's it from the Austin Hardy dude, right? Yep. I started I started following him, hoping in that he puts something insane. else up that I could fucking in, get. So I hit him up. I hit him up, and I was like, dude, I love your collection. This dude has every single one of Dave because Mears' bikes. Yeah. He was like Dave, every single one of Dave's, Dave's boy, bikes. and he has like- And all of yeah. Dave's stuff. It's, cr- yeah. it's pretty insane. Yeah. So I hit him up, and I was like, yo, dude, like- I would love to add some of the Dave's to my collection. Like, do you have anything? He's like, yeah, I got you. And he sent me a bunch of like a bunch of stickers and they were like his personal, like the slim the, Jim stickers. Yeah. Like, like, the like, like, like there was like, like like four or five of them and I like framed it. And then I heard Jason talking about in his snake bite podcast that he had the shit list and I would like hit him up and I was like, what do you want for it right now? Uh, how much did he actually sell it? Or he just sent it to you. Uh, he could say, you could say he sold it. Yeah. How much did you spend? I only on paid. Shit a, I paid 150 bucks for it. 150 bucks on a it shit a, list. It's a piece of paper this big, though. <laughs> That's amazing. And it has like an Etni sticker on the back of it, and it says like Van Home and Ron Kimler, or whoever, who and uh, whoever, and Rick Malterno or something like that. <laughs> but like, I was like that, like that is the most obscure. Yeah. Like, like I don't think that I. I, I mean, there is no other one in the world. Um, most valuable. I have one of. Van Homan's Mean Street frame that he filmed with Criminal Mischief. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Oh, that he filmed on. That yeah, he wrote, he wrote it oh, in Criminal huge. Mischief. It has like right guards, right guard stickers and like Airwalk stickers still on it. Damn. So funny story about. BMX. Yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah. It gets crazy. Like dudes like rebuild bikes and like make it all like era correct. Like it's it's pretty. It's pretty, it started, it it's started, pretty out. It, it, it's really big in like the 80s. Yeah. Like all the started, 80s stuff is like over. pretty insane because it's all older dudes that have money. But now it's like leaking into like what we call the mid school, which is like what you consider mid school, like 97 to like 2004. Know. Depends on how old you are, I think. I would say it's like that era, yeah. like 96 to like 94. I don't know. I'm Wait, probably going to get just went so. Or, no, no, no. Sorry. 96 <laughs> to 2004. Yeah. For me, like that's what I that's like the era that I like to collect in because like that's when I was like a kid. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's the shit that like I enjoy. But um I have the first ever props VX. That's crazy. I got it f- from Leland. Oh. Leland had it. Wait, was it Leland? Yeah, it was Leland. Yeah, I got it from Leland. Um he Mike oh, so Mike Tag had the camera and uh him and Leland like shared it for shit luck stuff, but Tag bought it from Chris Rye at Props, like whenever they got in like multiple cameras. And um, Stu like messaged me and he's like, I'm 95% sure that's the first ever Props VX. That's cool. And I'm like, wow. Like that's I just cool. got the camera and I didn't even know and then until later. I have like Jason Enns' old TRV that he filmed stuff for Forward and Criminal Mischief mm-hmm. on Nowhere Fast. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know bunch of jerseys and shit i got like five brian foster jerseys what's the so and then most valuable I, is a t- is a two-part in the sense of thing you spent the most money on and then thing that you think is worth the most if you were to like you know throw it up on a some sort of bmx nerd form i don't know i got like a nos garrett burns uh t1 the brown one oh really with the green stickers actually pretty funny story with that is that i feel like that's got i mean people would it's like brand new. Yeah. Like it's it's it. So I flew to England and Creasy picked me up for the airport, and he was like, "Hey, you want to go see something cool?" And I was like, "Sure." This is like it, with him with you collecting stuff. It's like when you're like a, a rich person or a famous person, and and you're like, "Well, I got all this money now, and I could buy this stuff, but now people just give me free stuff." You know what I mean? Like now you're like the most definitely like, not a rich person, but well, yeah, you know, I know what, what I'm you saying. Mean. Like you're the like the most notorious collector, so now it's just easier for you. Yeah, to get, they're like, well, oh, look. Because he'll think ahead. It's like he has, he's, I mean, he has all the first culture it's ever. Yeah, I have yeah. all the like, all the culture oh, they first it. get. Yeah, I save everything. Oh, that's cool. The value and what it kind of builds into. It. Yeah. Like, you know, you may not like it then, but it's like. 
Well, it's like a natural thing. If you're just yeah. a collector in general, you're like, oh, this is the first of yeah. something. Like, I should hold on to this. Like, that's. Yeah. I, well, yeah. I just like, I see, like, whenever Shadow comes out with new shirts, like, even if I don't wear one of them, I still I still keep them all. Yeah. Like, I have all, every cult shirt I ever had. Or ever. Cool. I have, like, all, like, when I first got in Sabrosa, I got all those shirts. Like, Fuck, where do you like, keep this shit? Uh, in my house. Uh, up in the, do you have Dude, a, I have a huge house. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Like, no, it's literally no. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a spare, <laughs> I have a spare, I have a spare bedroom in my house, and I have a, I have like. I those. swear I'm smart. Sometimes, sometimes I just like my brain. You're just like, not fucking what? Working. Did he like, just what? say that? <laughs> um, no, I have like those vacuum seal bags. Okay. For shirts, sure. so I have like probably like four or five of those bags, like just full of shirts, oh, that's like great. random yeah. stuff. But um, yeah, I have all the first cult shirts when I first when we did that first cult trip, and like uh, we went to the warehouse and like they gave me shirts, and I have all those. That's cool. Adam gave me a sh- uh, cult shirt before it was a brand, mm-hmm. one of the first cult zine shirts. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I keep everything. I just I don't no, know. I, cool. I see value in, in stuff like that. But what was your initial what, question? You were like the most the thing you spent the most money on. So we Probably got that Mean Streets frame. Oh, I spent really? like 800 bucks on that. Oh. But I bought it from... Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you get it from Van? Well, but I was like I in my, in my I, head. Okay, I was... so I think it's worth way more than that. Like, yeah. so so Dan Con, I, I posted that I wanted a Mean Streets frame. Dan Conway said, what if I were to tell you that I have Van's Mean Street frame? And I was like, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, I have it. And he sent me photos of it. He's like, yeah, I bought it from the Little Devil store because Van got rid of it and Derek sold it at the Little Devil store in Philly. And he's like, I got it. And there's like multiple like re-welded marks where like Conway's dad re-welded it when he cracked it like multiple times. Conway wrote it. Conway wrote it for like years. <laughs> That's amazing. So he was, I was like, I was like, dude. What a dumbest would, idea I was ever like, would you ever, like, I was like, would you ever part with that? And he was like, yeah, I would. And I'm like, I didn't want to like ask him like how much you want for it. And I was just like, like I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I don't even know how much something like this would go for. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I, I have no idea, but I was like, I wasn't going to like low bomb and be an asshole. I wasn't gonna be like, Hey, I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. Like that. Yeah. I was just, just being a dick at that point. So I was like, I want to give him what I th- think is at least close. Yeah. So I was like, Hey, I'll give you 800 bucks for it. And he was like, all right, yeah, that works. And, um, I was like, and I will never sell it. If, if I ever do get to the point where I want to sell it, I'll contact you first. And that's like, my thing is that like, I never, I've traded stuff with certain mid school guys where like I'll trade them something and then they immediately sell it. And I'm like, really? Yeah, dude? Like, yeah. like, like that, like that frame to Dan is really important. And like, I would never like just sell that out from underneath him and be like, if when he's like, Hey man, like, do you happen to have that frame? Like, like I would never be like, Oh yeah, I sold it to some guy in Europe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Be like, Oh, Damn, I made a thousand cool. bucks cold off of yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but, but I mean, I, I, I think that that, I mean, that's a historic frame, oh, yeah. dude. Oh, like yeah. that's that, like, I feel like, 800 bucks is low for that thing. Like, and that yeah. was just like what I could afford. I was like, dude, like I should not be spending this much money, but like the, I don't know if I'll ever encounter one of these ever again. No, of course you know not. what I yeah. mean? Like, that's why I was like, I, I don't, didn't, didn't you offer my other buddy the, because he has the, the new old stock, basically mean streets frame. Correct. Yeah. So, I hit him up and I was like, would you ever sell it? And he said, no. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, all right. Yeah. I thought, know. I thought I'd point you. Is offer. that the Schwing collector guy? Do you know no, him? No, he just won. He actually won the Mean Streets frame at uh, Roots Jam, and then oh, that's the right, AM, that's right, that's and right. And he ha- has just had it yeah. because that like winning that contest, he was just like, that's I fucking won that contest. Like that was crazy. Right, when you give me that roll, you give me that roll of Dirt Brothers stickers. Oh, yeah, it's like yeah. this big. Yeah, like it's like a, it's like a um. I don't even know what you. It's like all. It's like it's like, it's like you know spool. like you know like at Walmart they would give like the happy face stickers, but it's on a huge spool. Yeah. He gave me a spool stickers, dude. I'm not even kidding you. It's, Didn't it's I bring big. that to England too? Yeah. <laughs> and it's this company called Dirt Brothers that was around here from San Diego that you used to ride for, and it's just like it's just these little orange Dirt Brothers stickers, and it's literally just like Thousands probably like ten thousand stickers. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Where I'm like, all right, I yeah. guess I have this now. But you know, it's funny is that I'm just not. I don't. I don't hold on to that much stuff. So when I was like trying to fill up the walls with stuff, I'm like, dude, I don't really. have I can much send you shit. back some of those stickers. You want like a little strip of them? Sure, I'll take a strip. Okay, I'll take a Mira sticker too. It'll go right. It'll Ugh. go. I won't you can a, never I won't, sell it. You can no, never no, no, sell no, it. I never. I'll put. I won't put a hole in it. I only I'll have three it, of I'll them right here. I only have three of them. So check I'll, out this photo of Gary though. Oh my god. <laughs> He looks the exact same. Yeah. Um, but going back to when... It, oh, I was telling you a story about Creasy with the the Here's Garrett Burns frame. Taj's Nora Cup speech. Wow. That's Why do you have that? Because I'm the biggest Taj nerd. 
Yeah, that's pretty Like, sick. literally, like, like, Taj, Taj. He gave me a note one time for Swamp Fest, or he sent me that skate, a skateboard, a Swamp Fest skateboard. He randomly just sent me, I was like, hey, what's your address? And I gave, and I gave it to oh, him, yeah. and he sent me a skateboard that he had painted with an alligator on it, and it said Swamp Fest, and he said, just give this to somebody that deserves it. And wow. I was like, and he gave me a note that just said, like, good luck with Swamp Fest, make sure to have fun, Taj. And I was like... Safe. <laughs> like holy t- yeah. shit like taj but, is taj is my number uh number one nerd out like yeah. it like he sent me one of the See books his mountain bike clip recently yeah it was sick it only was person should ever post a mountain bike i know bike right i'll taj on a bike is better than taj not on <laughs> it a bike. was so good yeah. like you just see you like, want to talk power. about mountain bikes no 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 no. <laughs> go back to, go back to the <laughs> i think you can just draw your own conclusion how i feel so uh you no, but going going back to the, the Creasy story, he picked me up from the airport. It was like, hey, I want to show you something. We drove to his in-laws' house. We climbed under their house into like this like basement area, and he like pulls up this tarp, pulls out a brand new Garrett Burns T1. I'm like, why do you have it? He goes, oh, it was my brother-in-law's. And I'm like, no way. He's like, yeah, you want it? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then I t- and then we went to 70s later on. I actually might have been a different trip. But I went to 70s and got a shit ton of tapes, got them all home, realized that they were all in PAL format and I can't watch any of them. Oh. I was like, damn it! You gotta buy a PAL camera. But I got like a stack of like Nowhere Fast just covers from 70s. That's it. Just the covers. I'm like, why do they have these? But I was like, I have to take this. This is ridiculous. Like, but it's so funny. You couldn't, the nerd out, the nerd out. Is, I love it. But real. like, it's, it's just like, it's, I feel like for a while, like I was just watching like modern BMX and I wasn't like, not talking shit about it, but like I just wasn't that stoked. Like I was like, it, it just, it's like whenever, when you reach the point of like being in the industry and you know the behind the scenes and everybody, it doesn't have that same value as like holy shit, that's Taj. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Like it, 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 it you it doesn't have that same effect anymore. Yeah. And it's like I think it's the nature of being a, not a kid. You yeah, know, of like course. you don't build, of you course. don't build that connection that you want. I fully did. live in my past. Have you seen that room? It's full of Nickelodeon stuff and old BMX. That's yeah. like my whole childhood. But it's like I would, I, I just, I just. Instead of focusing on the things that bum me out or don't get me motivated, I just focus on the shit that I do like. Yeah, yeah. And that I do in like, and that's like records and old BMX shit and VHS tapes and cartoons and all that other type of bullshit. So. Cool. I like that. Um, How long have we been going for? Uh, hour and a half. Holy shit. Uh, Chris is like, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, he's, like, shit. he's like, fucking, he's like, I don't give a shit like, who Taj is. It's like <laughs> skaters, but not. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about Mike Hawk? What? Yeah, you're cool for a biker. Wait, somebody said that to you? <laughs> no, we were, we were saying how like skateboarders, like especially like old school skaters, like we went and rode a bunch of pools like some old school skaters yesterday. And it's like, they're like, they treat you like, like they're like racist against you, like BMX or something. Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah, you're all right for a biker. I usually don't like most bikers, but you're all right. And it's like, I think I'm kind of insulted. Yeah, right am I the like, first, I, like, am I I the first like, biker you've ever like, met, basically? Like, <laughs> like, they're almost like, yeah, you're kind. It's, uh, you yeah, know, like, it, yeah. like, it's like, what? I don't like, but then they're like, that run was sick. And I'm like, yeah, but you didn't like me when I pulled up because yeah. I had a bicycle. I had so I don't know approval. if like, yeah. like, thanks for the pool, but like, I don't know if, I don't know. It's, it's just a weird thing, right? Like, yeah. it's like, uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about it. The, like, with the Claremont, I don't like it. Like the, the Claremont but, Park, the bowl. Gary is working there, and he and he opened up the cement bowl, and that bowl has been there for 15 years with no bikes or scooters mm-hmm. or anything. And Gary's like, well, like second thing he did was just take that sign down, you know. And then yeah. so now the park's open. Uh, the both times I've been there is like some skaters roll up, and they're you know they're just like kind of baffled you know like kind of taken back but you know fortunately it's not just me it's like chris fox and matt Cordell, yeah. which is like a fucking yeah. uh, mind-blowing to me every single time yeah. and they just kind of like sit back and then you know like i've heard comments like well like i mean i guess it's cool the coping's kind of fucked anyways you know like it's like it's just, it's just like they want to yeah. like yeah They're they want to get pegs like yeah. what, like it's and it's like it's like even funny like with us going to pools yesterday like like it's like like yeah you're all right for bike like i don't most bikers and it's like it's like literally like what are we gonna like what are we gonna do like you acting yeah. like we're just gonna shove and just like destroy the entire pool but it's like just because you're on a different toy you're weird yeah. it's like yeah. you're on a skateboard it is you're a, just as weird as i you, am when you go like, to something it's like it, it's like it's bizarre it, um, i always equate it to like 
probably for Chris, it's like it's bizarro skating where you're like, this guy kind of looks like this guy, and this guy has a similar personality to this guy that I know, but I don't know him. And then they're talking about this, and they're just yeah. as psyched, but it's a little bit different, you know? Like for us, it's like, or like even me, it was like I didn't really pay too much attention to it until like, like Corey and Chris and Trey, like to me as a skateboarder, like I can relate to their riding because it's all they're, they're riding the same stuff we skate, like. A lot of the dirt stuff and the wooden ramps, it's like that's so unrelatable to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I see Corey and Chris and Trey, like ride it back there cool, it's like my mind's fucking blown because I know how hard it is to ride that thing on my skateboard. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. Like, it's just like a relatable thing, you know? But yeah. I think like what Corey and these guys are doing, like, is like really gonna like blow a lot of skateboarders' minds. Yeah. Dude, like cool. riding cool. that pool with Corey yesterday, like all the skateboarders were like, holy shit this is insane like they were just like freaking out i mean i was freaking out too because i know how crazy it is but they're just like he just like he jumped the whole thing and i'm like yeah yeah that's what he does they're like but wow like oh my god like they kept saying like i'm a fan dude like i'm just i'm a fan of what you guys are doing and it's just like yeah cool thanks man like you know like it's just like it's like but then he's like like you know this this dude that we were with yesterday he's like yeah he's working woodward you guys know who jay miron is man (laughs) those dudes would eat shit like you know and i'm like i'm like yeah we don't really do that it's different like but but in their eyes they're like we're bringing a bike rider to a pool oh it's gonna be like matt hoffman he's gonna be geared up he's gonna jump and like eat shit and it's like no like we we, it's different you know what i mean it's completely different not saying matt hoffman would eat shit in a pool i'm just saying like in general like the gladiator style of like going for it like they see that and they're you know that's what they think of bikes in their head which is like that's what i'm saying with like olympic stuff it's like it's like i wish it was just like more relatable yeah you know what i mean i mean that's because like somebody like chris will watch like you know uh uh i don't i don't i don't want to name anybody any names but like you know spinny flippy like stuff and he's like like what once might as well just keep going yeah i mean i don't have i don't hate that guy or like that i'm just saying like that style of riding it's just like like most people can't relate to it at all and um it would be cool if like they could relate to it yeah yeah like that would be rad if they're like oh that's like what i do you know i mean not saying that we need to like suck off skateboarding you know what i mean like i'm not like i'm just saying like i don't know what i'm saying i don't know either anymore you even said it was like there's only four wooden parks yeah it's just not what's in the olympics yeah there's no foam there's no foam pits in san diego there's no you know like in order to learn stuff like that you need a certain facility and it just the facility doesn't exist yeah and so people are not going to ride like that Mm -hmm. and that's kind of just is what it is and so it's it's, cool for them but like it's like it that's that's always (laughs) been my like thing well i mean this is big picture stuff but like BMX is a subset of bicycle riding. It's a it's a smaller piece of of the cycling industry. So when people are like, "Oh, BMX is never going to be big as skateboarding," it's like, "Yeah, no shit." It's like something that's small. It's a smaller yeah. subset where skateboarding is its own sport in a sense. Yeah. And people, there's also the, you know, the uh, just the the core elements of it that you can go buy a skateboard for 80 bucks and you can, yeah. the first bike you buy is $300 yeah, and, it's it's, a pile, and it's a pile of shit usually and it's a pile of shit and it's harder to work on and it's got a you know and Tools it's just and flats yeah and, it's you know, just yeah. it's there's just fundamental things that will always keep bmx uh, yeah. smaller than other things but i think then, it's i think it's good to like earn the respect of another industry that is like more successful than us yeah. you know yeah. with like guys like you know like lizard king and david gravette and dudes that are like open even like chris filming like it's like it's opening their eyes up to where it's like you know dudes that are in the skate industry are like oh well if chris is backing them like yeah. Must be pretty cool, well, you know yeah. what I mean? You, or like, intro, you oh, intro well, a like, couple of people, and you know what I mean? Like, and, and, and that's like, it's like, do taking those steps. Like, I know, like, from knowing Chris and working with Chris, like, I've opened up a lot more opportunities. Yeah. I wouldn't have gotten right on any of those pools we rode in LA yesterday if it wasn't for Chris and knowing that. No, like, you know what I mean? It's like it just opens up, and even like Corey riding with with those dudes. Like Corey was like, dude, like it's almost more motivating to like, not saying it's more motivating, but like he's like it's so motivating going to a pool with like skaters that are killing it because like it opens up my whole mind of like what's possible and if they skate stuff that's completely different you know what i mean so it's like earning it's not bad opening up bike you know bmx to like a different industry you know what i mean and it's like for me personally 
I can relate more to skateboards than I can to mountain bikes. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I or to cycle so or or, 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 or to or to like road biking or cy- cycling yeah. in general. No, you know what course, I mean? Like course, I personally like the culture and like why I do it relates more to what they do of finding a pool and cleaning it out and doing that type of shit versus yeah. Lance Armstrong. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's just not. You know what I mean? Like but to each his own. Yeah. No. It's. I think it's cool. I think it's. You know. I think there's just the it's funny how the skate stuff still exists in an older generation where I feel like younger, younger generation is like drop in on the board. They can drop in on a bike. They can drop yeah. in on a scooter. They yeah. can do a, a couple yeah. of basic tricks on every single thing because they the skateboarders cannot ride BMX at all. I promise you that I saw it yesterday. It's very bad. Well, it's, um, the, it, all, the it, older it, skate, the it, older it, sk- it, all younger skaters are, we tried to ride the brick quarter pipes in LA, like in that plaza. And it was pretty rough. China banks. No, the, no, in LA, the, the tight, brick quarters there's like a million oh, yeah, of yeah, them yeah yeah the, the yeah. la china banks That's is that what I they're mean. called yeah yeah but yeah it was it was pretty funny i was on the skateboard they were on the bikes it was bike it was curious. they call bike it bike curious. bike curious, curious yeah. yeah it's hilarious <laughs> it's amazing but yeah it's awesome i actually i actually really enjoy growing up with the skateboarders because like i said it's completely different you know what yeah. i mean like i'm used to going on a bmx trip and being like forcing people to go ride a pool yeah. and they're like sitting on the deck like so Where's the ledge at? You know what I mean? And I'm just like, oh, I mean, I feel bad. I don't want to, like, keep these guys here. But then you go with, like, skaters that are like, there's another pool. And there's another one. There's another one. You know what I mean? And even being with Corey, I mean. Corey's all about it, too, of course. Hey, Corey Walsh, though. I'm psyched he's back on the bike. Hey, most talented bike rider to ever live. I'll say it. No, <clears throat> no. I was, telling, I was telling Chris about it. I know luckily, Corey. Luckily, Dennis isn't here for that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Anderson cannot do what Corey Walsh does. <laughs> Absolutely no offense to Dennis in any way, but if you've ever watched Corey Walsh ride in person, I please come try to disagree with me no, on that of one. Course, yeah. it's, it's, like I was, I was explaining. I was I'm, explaining. To generally, Chris. about every other podcast, there's about like a 10 minute segment where it's just like, and then we compliment Dennis. Yeah. You know, and he's like, just like so he's sitting like, there like so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, uh, this isn't about me, but um, no, ride with Corey. Like I was talking to Chris about, it, and I was like, I was like, you, I was like. You can see that that's impressive, but like, like watching him ride a pool, like, dude, like he, like I, I've never met somebody that is like he, he, his physics of bike riding don't, I, it's uncomprehendable. Like I can't understand like how he can physically do the things that he does because they're like they're borderline like breaking the laws of physics. Yeah, how he can yeah, do them, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and I don't think BMX has ever seen a force like him before Mm -hmm. like i don't think anybody's ever seen like like i can only imagine what the next five years are gonna look like with him on a bike like it's gonna be the craziest thing anybody's ever seen i i talked about the curve wall at battle of hastings and how he was riding that for like a year afterwards like because it it actually defied what i thought was possible yeah and he does it all the time. Do that. Yeah, and it's it's insane. The it open insane. pocket stuff, like watching him in a pool ride it, where it's like, I don't know, it's like almost indescribable how how incredible he is, and just and he's cool as shit. Because I've seen a lot of dudes that are amazing bike riders that are not cool. So it's like Corey is a great person, and uh, talking about Dennis again. <laughs> just joking. Garrett Reynolds and Corey, and Corey Walsh, <laughs> two most talented bike riders to ever exist. Let's see. I was going to go run into the inside. I was like, oh, are we done? Oh, fuck. Did you do like questions on Instagram or something? Yeah, but on the unclicked one, and we only have, uh, a, fuck, we only got 2,000 followers, but somehow got 100 comments. Sick. Wow. Yeah. How much money did you make off Swamp Fest? Is that the first one? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the question that I asked. I was like, how much money is a poll? Okay, first uh, question. How much money do you make? Yes. Uh, BMX Adam, a.k.a. Adam Watkins, a.k.a. Oh. Our BMX. Uh, if you had to move out of Florida, where would you call home? <laughs> we next? talked about this the other day. Um, honestly, the only pl- – I mean, I could definitely see myself living in Phoenix because uh, – a few different places. I could definitely see myself living in Phoenix just because of the crew there and the weather is decent and stuff like that. But, like, I don't – I. I don't want to live anywhere besides Florida. Like, absolutely not. Like, I could definitely, I could handle living in, like, the Northeast, like, in, like, Richmond or something like that in the summertime. Mm-hmm. That place is cool. But I feel like, like, this is going to be so ridiculous, but I feel like Hawaii might be one of the only places I've ever been that I felt like it was the closest thing to home. Just as far as, like, the weather and, like, like, the natural, like, 
jungleness of the, it, or like, like going, the and the like going, and like going, to, going to swimming holes and riding skate mm. parks and going to the beach and like you know things like that that were like I was like, damn, I could live here. This would be sick. You know what I mean? Like it was one of the few places I've ever been where I'm like, damn, this is, this is really cool. Like a really cool place. Crazy. I would not expect that. I mean, um, well, I know it's a ridiculous thing to say, yeah, but no. it's, it's true. Uh, if you could, Ben <clears throat> Kirkham, if you could ride with anyone in their prime, who would it be and why? I don't know. That's a, that's a, t- that's a tough one. I Probably Davey Watson. Yeah, I feel like I, I watch um, people talk and you talk about Davey Watson. I love so. Davey Watson, dude. Yeah. Like, his shoulder part is one of my favorite things ever. Like, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Who else? Maybe like... a. Like I would love, like there is a photo that maybe it was Crandall or like, um, maybe Crand- yeah, maybe it was Crandall or Van or something like that. And it's a photo like Van taking a selfie, and it's like him, Steve Crandall, McGilla, Corrigan, like all like just all, and I'm just like, wow, yeah. like that is that's insane. You know what I mean? Like just seeing like those dudes, like I would have loved to like witness like some of those like ECT contests back in the day Mm -hmm. or like, you know, or or a ghetto jam or like, you know, one of those things. I mean, I know that's like kind of off topic, but no, no, no. uh, But but like anybody from like that mid school era that was like a part of like the East coast, like FBM style, maybe like the maniac, Mm -hmm. Brian Yeagle, you know, like, See, that was one of the cool, like thing, the cool things with working at Riders because I actually got to go on a trip with like Maniac and Crandall and in a bus sick. and stuff like that and go out and be on the shit look or rig yeah. with tag and stuff That's like cool. that. So it's like yeah. have so many like cool random interactions and like stuck with yeah. people, you know, like kind of the filmer life where you like kind of bounce around a little bit. Yeah. It's like, it's a, the it's, Maniac's one of my favorite writers as well. It, dude, that, I mean, I don't, did you post it recently yeah. or somebody else? Tire grabbed in the one handed X. The one handed yeah. X over the yeah, spot. Where he's just like, like going the wrong, yeah, like he's like pushing the wrong way. <sighs> oh. so like, he's like going backwards while he's doing it. Dude, God. it's a thing of beauty. Yeah. And it's like, not, it's like, like the... it's like, I only need to go this far and yeah. that is adequate. And, and his hand is like dangling straight down. Like, I feel like, like Clint is one of like the dudes that like is very similar to mm-hmm. him in that in that nature of like very like lazy but doing crazy shit you know what I mean but like um this one's kind of interesting in the sense of maybe we didn't touch it Hanville forty one do you feel like do you feel like being featured a lot on YouTube channels like Scotty's and Big Roy's affected your career anyway in any way good or bad uh yeah definitely definitely for sure. Like, obviously, your um, popularity, the people walk... You yeah, know, like, I mean, when it comes down to, like... When it comes down to, like, statistics or yeah. whatever, you know, like, I hate to say that word, and it sounds so lame, but, like... Stats about fans. Obviously, it, like, gives me more followers on Instagram, yeah. and, you know, like, shit like that, where it's like, yeah, but... Like, I would love for, like, a kid that has never been BMX to, like, watch Big Boy or Scotty's channel and then follow me and, like, me post a clip of... Davy Watson or something like that and they're like oh that's cool I've never seen anything like that you know what mm-hmm. I mean so like that gets me stoked you know what I mean like but just because I'm like on a YouTube channel doesn't mean I like subscribe to oh no pun intended so subscribe to like that uh type of writing or yeah. like that character or whatever it is but um no it's cool I think it's rad you meet some weird people but it's cool do you think from a from a like a branding aspect or from a sponsorability aspect does it does it help sell bikes? Do you, you know, like, do you think, do you think, you know, yeah, yeah, the views correlate in a sense? I think so. Yeah, probably. I mean, but I can't look back on like, okay, let's look at my career without YouTube and see how it did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just yeah. know what it was. Yeah, like, but it's got to also, if you have a, a personality. But it also helped can... with like Scotty and them having a bike shop. Yeah, exactly. And like, you know, Scotty's mom being my mother in law. Yeah. And like, she you know the guy from sparky's calls her is like hey you want some tray bikes sure you know what i mean like and then the kids go there and he buys a tray bike you know what i mean so it's like that yeah that ob- obviously that shit helps but like um i think it helps you know yeah. like I, I i i don't have anything negative to say about it like, i think it's it's good cool what uh we can dead space we can cut it you have, to, okay. you have to say something really offensive and then the editor will... Whoa! Something really offensive, huh? No, I'm good. Is that the thing you say on YouTube? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Holy Toledo. Hey, what? No, you go... This is what it is. You go, You go. wow! Wow. Yeah, wow. That's but that's not is. like me doing like, okay, I'm going to do my thing. That's your wow! Ca- yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? It's not like... like... No, no, no. Turn the microphone towards me so you get the wow really good. Hey, that's what it turn is. Turn this way. Wow. Wow. No. I think it's just like whenever I see Big Boy do like 
a tabletop. And he's like looking at me like, what was it? And I'm like, wow, dude, that was sick. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Big boy. No, there's a question. I mean, you don't have to answer this. So this is this goes back to the money thing. K oh, underscore God. special. Why wouldn't you fully in- reimburse the companies that paid money to promote their company or paid money to promote their company <laughs> at your event? Oh, and then, well, so obviously- there's somebody else underneath. I was like, these are the questions we need to answer to from somebody who's supposedly trying to progress the sport. <laughs> so like, Jesus like Christ. this is the shit that you. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I deal with because, um, well, well, this, so this is how, this is how a business works. People, <laughs> sponsor they give you the money you go out and you buy plywood with it you do the event then the event gets canceled do i give odyssey five stacks of plywood yeah exactly like you know what i mean like i'm not like i i I don't know what to do so what i do is i roll over their sponsorship to the next year yeah so what <laughs> like i don't i don't know yeah. what else needs to be said yeah. like like you know what i mean like i don't know like it i what so I think the that money what, was spent. What, what they're referring to is that when Swampfest first got canceled, mm-hmm. and like I didn't know what to do, I sent out sponsorship emails and I was like, "Hey guys, we're not doing the event. I don't really know what to do. I can give you guys a price break on next year," because mm-hmm. I didn't know what to do. And then I was like, after I had sent that, I was like, "No, like I just got to roll it over and figure it out myself." Okay, so and no that's more. what I did. Okay, but the thing is, but somebody put that out not, online, right? Yeah. Okay. And I don't even know how, I don't, I don't know how that got out there, yeah. whatever. Like, but I mean, as we know in the industry, it's like shit goes everywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like, I called every single sponsor of Swamp Fest and every single sponsor a hundred percent understood and was cool with it. Yeah. It was the, people, the people that have literally no money in it that were upset. Yeah. And it's like, you, okay, don't come to the event then you know what i mean it's like it's like i called the source i called nuno at odyssey i called ryan at saprosa i called robbie like i like yeah. i personally talked to every single sponsor on that list and explained exactly what was going on and everybody's like yeah man we got your back don't sweat it yeah. and it's like and then so and so, then so a somebody, random fan was it a, was, it a, was it a meme was it a meme account or something that posted it yeah was it was it team was yeah, it, yeah of course you know what I mean? Yeah. But as like I said before, like they're the same pages that like post homophobic shit about Corey. So like I don't really care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like those dudes are pieces of shit anyways. So it's like I wish people would just like realize that, you know? But No, it's all jokes. Whatever. It's funny. It's so funny. Jokes have meanings. Uh <laughs> do you really not like kids? Beast Marauda. That's a comment from a kid. Do you really not like kids? He's got a smiley face on it, so I assume he's joking. <laughs> Just before you got all serious. What? <laughs> um, no, I, I, no, I don't know. No, I think it was like, I think, do I not like kids? I don't kids? know. Yeah. We can cut what? that one. We can cut this one out. Yeah. yeah. That. What? Are you going to, here is a question from uh, Fi and Roger. Are you going to have kids? Oh God. Come on now, man. Jesus Christ. God. <laughs> you really like Jesus that question. Christ, man. <laughs> is that a no? Is that a yes? Listen, I got a lot of time, man. You do have a lot of time. I got a house and a wife. Just, that's about, not, and I got dogs. Dennis, that's Dennis isn't right here now? right now. You just wait a couple months. You ask him how it's going, and then base your base. Your I don't think this is a conversation to be put on the internet. Like, I know this, this is this is, is like this is ridiculous. Uh, Bigfoot versus Grave Digger, Stone Cold versus Undertaker, Rocket Power versus Rugrats. Grave Digger, and then what was the next one? Stone Cold versus Undertaker. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then what was the next Rocket one? Rocket Power versus Rugrats. I don't even know what Rocket, Rocket Power is. Power. Oh my God! We had this conversation yesterday with Corey. Holy, sh- holy That's shit! What is? <laughs> what is? But it? how old are you? I'm fucking old. Forty. I'm gonna turn yeah. forty in a month. I guess you were 20 when it came out, and it's like, that's a little, like... But Rocket Power is the uh, the cartoon that had all the kids, like, skateboarding and BMXing and shit like that. Missed it. Uh, shout out to wow. Yulch for that one. Wow! Uh, who will... Missed from it. Kenny underscore O, who will win in a fight, Big Boy or Jabe? Oh, my God. Wow. That's a good question. Ooh. Because I feel like... That's yeah. a rough... That, eh. For my... I'm going to go with Jabe. I feel like J. I feel like Jabe's. Jabe's We've mean. had this I feel conversation. Like Jabe's mean. 
I feel yeah. like Jabe would be mean. Well, Jabe, whenever he, when you flip a, like, when you flip a switch with Jabe, like, you can really get him fired up about yeah. some stuff. So, uh, Big Boy is huge, and he definitely, like, if he landed a punch, it would be catastrophic, but he's so clumsy that I feel like he would be, like, running to punch somebody and just, like, trip and fall, and Jabe would just, like, whoop his ass right there on the ground. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um... Oh, yeah, I missed it. Sorry, uh, Dry Jeff Thornwood is talking about the uh, Nyquist prank. <laughs> did you so see it? I, I didn't did you actually watch it, watch it because oh, it was pre- it was man. pretty uh, pretty long. But I heard I obviously I heard about it. I heard about it from Creasy. And then Dude. so what was the did was Nyquist so, did Nyquist handle it like a champ? Yes, he did. All yeah, right. he is a total G in every aspect. So pretty much on that Battle of the Brands trip, it, one one challenge was prank prank phone calls somebody in the industry. First person I call is Brian Foster and he didn't answer. It's so funny because a dude was that in there. He said that he had a follow up. He said, get Blue Falcon on the line. Like literally. Yeah. I So, okay. So it, Brian is involved with, I'll, I'll go through okay. the whole thing. So I called BF first because I was going to tell him that his Superman sucked and he didn't answer. And then I was going to call Corey Nastasio and I didn't even know what I was going to say to Corey. I was just going to like say some insane shit. He didn't answer. I called Corey Martinez because Seth was like, just prank call him about like you're want you're wanting to build like a deck and you're gonna go in this big elaborate thing and you know and but Corey didn't answer. <laughs> and then I called, I was like, all right, well, I'll call Nyquist. And because we were I was on the subject of, of nasty, and I was like, damn, I shouldn't bring up the 2000 X games when Nasty was in the lead. The thing and, we talked about on Nastasio's <clears throat> podcast, right? Yeah, did you guys talk about that? Yeah, how Nyquist So Nyquist yeah. fell on his last run and then but Nyquist still won. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll say that like I'm from X Games and I'm gonna like do an article on uh on uh like like comeback stories and like and all that stuff and I'll and I'll try to bring up the nasty thing and like I'll try to like say like maybe he was fraternizing with the judges or something like that. So anyways, I call him and I'm like <clears throat> I'm like, hey man, this is uh Ryan Chadwick from X Games, blah blah blah. I'm trying to do this article about comeback stories and he I was like, Can I do an interview with you? And he's like, um wait, who this is from X Games? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're from ESPN. I, I, go, I go, Brian Tunney gave me your number. He told me to give you a call. So I was like, oh, I got it. So he thinks it's legit. And he's like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, can you call me later back to like later on around like six o'clock? And I was like, yeah, man, no problem. Yeah, we can give you a call, you know, all this stuff. And he's like, all right, cool. Yeah, that'd be great. So he like sets time like, and I talked to Paris afterwards and she was like, yeah, after he hung up the phone, because I told him it was about the 2000 X Games, after after you hung up, he went and watched the entire contest from the 2000 X Games because he wanted to be like prepared for this conversation because <laughs> he knew it was going to get brought up. Yeah. So, um, so I call him and I go into it and all stuff and I'm like, yeah, you know, like we want to talk about comeback stories, you know, and I was like, just take us through that day, man. You know what what, what went on? Because I wanted to hear from him. And he's like, you know, I, you know, I did, I did, I think I did three double, three suicide double truck, flip double truck, flip double bar. You know, all this, all you guys, all these things. And you know, he's like, I barely, got, I got the win, but yeah, I pulled it off. And I'm like, oh, that's great, man. I'm great. I'm like, I'm like, so wait, did you, um, you know? So we had talked to Corey actually previously, you know, and he <laughs> had mentioned that you fell on your last run and still beat him. Like, you know, how, how do you feel about that? And he's like, you know, well, you know, I just, you know, it was, it was an average of the scores. And he goes into the whole breakdown of why he won and all this stuff. And I was like, damn, he's really, he's really prepared for this. And, uh, and I'm like, and I'm like, uh, I, I don't remember the exact context of it, but I was like, yeah. And he goes, he goes, if Corey feels bad about it, you know, like maybe I could like, you know, let him borrow my medal. No. And I'm like, and I'm like, well, that's funny that you mentioned that because I like literally just clicked in my head. I'm like, so it's funny you mentioned that. We actually would think about doing a piece of like, we actually had our current day judges go back and rejudge the contest and they think Corey should have won, you know? <laughs> and um, we're, you know, obviously you can keep the prize money from it, but like, is there any way we can maybe do a piece where like you fly out to California and you like hand Corey the medal and you guys like hug it out, you know, all this stuff, you know, we can make like, this, it would make, it would make this awesome piece. And he's just like, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> like, he, he was like, he was like, I'm down to do something with Corey, but like, I deserve to win that medal. And he's like, and what he says is when they're talking about the Brian Foster thing, he goes, you know, and if, if I recall correctly, you know, like the year before, like I deserved to win. And, you know, I think Brian Foster just like straight jumped to jump and did a tabletop and, you know, and he beat me. So if like we're going to start bringing up, you know, like <laughs> false wins, like maybe we could bring Brian into this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that would be great if we could do that. Like and, I, and all this stuff. And then he starts like saying how like, 
yeah, you know, like Corey's kind of known for laying a little sloppy on his flip whips and his three whips, you know, blowing the feet off, rolling away, throwing the bike in the air, you know, like, and he's it good, dude. It went on for like wow. 15 minutes. And it got to the point where I was like, oh, I feel bad now. Like yeah. this has gone real. He's like taking this real seriously. And like, I, I asked him, I said like, you know, do you encourage, do you encourage, uh, I, I said, I said, we don't know if there was like some fraternizing going on with the judges or whatever, but that's okay. And I kept it going. And he's like, yeah, there was no fraternizing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, well, do you encourage like the same in like your athletes with the Olympics of like, you know, go hang out with the judges, get some beers for the contest type of deal, you know, and like rub them the right way. And he's like, yeah, no, I don't encourage. Like, I just like, I like just kept <laughs> fucking with him. And it, it got bad. Eventually I was like, Hey, have you ever heard of the source? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, well, we're on this trip called Battle of the Brains, and one of the challenges is to rank pro, pro, and this is Trey Jones. And he's like, oh, my God, I knew it. He was like, oh, my. Like, and he was and he made it super cool about it. But it was, dude, it was real funny. You got, like, you, I'm sure you got nervous at some point. You're like, did I fucking go too far? Like, I got to the point where I was like, dude, I hope he doesn't get mad, because we were on the phone for, like, 15 or 20 minutes, and I was like, oh, man, I hope he's not. Like, he said a sign. He, like, he's like, yeah, I have to take my kids to school, and I can do it afterwards. And I'm like, oh, man. Like, he's funny. like... Like, I felt kind of bad. Like, oh, man, he's taking this really seriously. And then afterwards, I texted him. I was like, dude, thank you so much. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it, I, I really, I really appreciate it. And he was cool about it. It's yeah. like that. But it was pretty funny. It was, it was real funny. Like, That's I was funny. like, the whole time I was just like, oh, my God, I cannot believe this is happening right now. Like, <laughs> it was so bad. What, uh, is there anything else we missed? Or we, what else you got going on? I mean, obviously, Swamp Fest stuff. And then Swamp Fest, October filming, 30th. Yeah. Oh, part. you know, one other thing I want to talk about, you brought up the bully frame and just signature yeah. products and kind of, you know, revamping those out. So you had the bully frame, you got kind of got like the, the GT style seat with mm -hmm. the railed seat and stuff mm -hmm. like that. What's, what's your motivation behind doing that stuff? Because I know for, you know, for using the seat for an example, like that mm -hmm. probably you could sell more seats if it wasn't railed. I assume. I don't know. It's funny. I like it. Yeah. So like, like it's not really, it's not like, it's, it's, it's not like, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. They want to do a drop nose. And I was like, well, we got to do a GT drop nose. And there, and then Arno that does the, all the art, like design that logo. And I was like, Oh my God, that's the best thing I've ever seen. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know what I mean? Like I, dude, I've, I never sold a lot of product. Let's yeah. be real. Like I, I, I know that. Like I'm not like, I'm not in like denial about that. Like I know, but Gary Burns hit me up for a drop nose seat. So that's, that's better than any other, <laughs> any other, any that's other good. sale for some kid ever. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, I, um, um, no, I just like, it, I'm, I'm lucky enough to ride for like brands that like, if I'm like, Hey, I need a 32 tooth sprocket. Like, okay, we'll make you some. That's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like normally it'd be like, no, you're an idiot. Why the hell would you need a 32, like 32 tooth sprocket? But, um, but yeah, it's great. And like, well, I, can't... I mean, I guess that's kind of what I was getting at is that like, I feel like most riders, if they're like, Hey, I want to do this like really unpopular thing. Yeah. And the brand would be like, we're not going to do that. But yeah, but Sparky's is there even, Shadow and Sabrosa is there, is and there a Colt pivotal version? Done it for me. Is there a pivotal version of the seat or no, no. is it only railed? No. Only yeah, railed. that's crazy. So it comes with the post though. So it's like, yeah, I guess you, that's, I mean, I don't know. Like, like, I mean, I'm not expecting a 14 year old kid to buy a railed seat. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. but like if, if a few dudes that like, like I care about or stoked on it and like, I like it and that's all that matters. You know what I mean? And I, that's like, um, that's all that matters. But like, I'm just lucky enough to ride for like, you know, ride for Colt all those years and then ride for Sabrosa and, and Sparky's is, is sick. You know what I mean? Like they, they kill it. And like, I, I seriously in vans, like I can't even go through all the NASCAR sponsor list real quick. Can't, can't think my Colt, my Colt bike, my shadow bike, my Sabrosa bike. Check, all check, things. check. But, um, but no, they're sick, man. I can't, that's cool. I can't, yeah, and even like the whole split with like, you know, with going from Colt to Sabrosa, like that was sick. Like, you know, like Robbie and Ryan handled it great. And Ronnie and, uh, Robbie, Ronnie and Ryan handled it great. Yeah, it's a lot. But, um, but no, everybody, cool. I can't, I can't anything, think of them. Anything else in the works with that stuff? Um, work on the Sabrosa part with Chris yes. for a frame promo, work on a part with Chadwick um that we're gonna premiere at swamp fest well we're gonna have a showing of it because yeah. it's gonna be <clears throat> the part's gonna be like a pay-per-view online yeah. thing um so we'll just have like a showing of the part at swamp fest and then it'll be for sale after that but i think that we're gonna do like a zine we might do like some vhs copies cool. of the video too nice. um that will probably all be for sale at swamp fest um 
But no, I mean, this is kind of the calm for the lot. I mean, that's like your next four months of life, basically. So and then Swamp Fest on top of that. Yeah, so, so like, this is the calm before the storm right now. Honestly, yeah. like, this is honestly like, I'm a uh, like once August September hits, Fuck. it's like like full speed. You know what I mean? Like it's going. So, um, but it's kind of like riding almost like shuts down for me at that yeah, point. Man. Like it's kind of like riding kind of like takes the back seat and it's like focusing on the event because it's just. There's so much to do. Like I have, the only employees I have are a few guys to build jumps. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's all the rest of it's me. You know what I mean? It's like, I have to, you know, answer emails, build, build all the wood shit and you know, all that stuff. It's a lot, but, um, block people on Instagram, <clears throat> block people on Instagram. No, I don't even block people anymore. <laughs> I honestly, honestly, I don't <laughs> even block, I don't even block people around. unless it's like yeah. really bad. I'm yeah, just yeah, like, I'm just I just like uh, let it, let it go. Well, thank you. Thank you. That was great. Wow. Sorry, I had to move the mic because usually I sit over a little bit left. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dennis, for joining us. It's been really great. Baby's beautiful. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming down. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. No, that's it. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, Chris. Me. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Sat there patiently. Didn't Didn't use the bathroom once. Yeah, I have to pee so bad now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can I do that? <laughs> All right, thank you. See you guys next time.